hot cross bun pizzas just in time for Easter, right? So what we've done is we've created a really marvelous and easy sweet yeast dough that you're going to form into little balls and then press down here in the middle. See what I'm doing here with my thumb and my fingers? Creating a little cavity on the inside, pushing it back so that you create a little area, almost like thumbprint cookies, but a little bigger. And then we're taking a regular jarred raspberry jam and you take a spoonful and put in each little divot. All right, so we'll pop some in here, then into the third one, and finally the fourth one. Now here's a little tip that not a lot of people probably know. When you are baking with raisins, Miss Stacy, raisins are dry in the box, right? Because you know, what is a raisin? It's a worried grape, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> so what happens is if you take a dry raisin and put it on a cookie or something that you bake, what happens in the heat of the oven? It gets worse, more dehydrated. It gets drier yeah. and usually a little crunchy, right? So we reconstituted these by putting a little water in there. Brilliant. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. So now they're going to bake up more nicely and they're not going to shrivel away to nothing. Perfect. Right? I mean, they're still worried, but they're not going to shrivel up into little meteorites. So then you pop this on top of each one, a little handful, get these into the oven, and then later when they come out of the oven, guys, come right over here, we got some finished ones. We're going to put a little icing in a, in a little piping mm -hmm. bag mm -hmm. and create the cross on here oh. so we can make hot cross bun pizzas. Wonderful. And they would be lovely for Easter breakfast, Absolutely. Easter brunch, mm -hmm. all that kind of thing. So to find this recipe, search David's Recipes on QVC.com. We have over 1,000 recipes, each with a color photo. Hey, Stacey Lou. Darling. Question. Yes. Oh, no. Do you love peanut butter? Oh, do I. And do you know where we can get some peanut butter lovers mix tonight? And I can get, get it with chocolate, which is like the perfect marriage ever. Well, it's the way God intended. Exactly. Yes. Uh, we actually had this on In the Kitchen with David a couple weeks ago, and it blew out the door. It is the 2008 uh, Foodie Award winner for Best Nut Mix. I'm talking nut mix. I'm talking about Germax jars of peanut butter lover mix. You get three of them. And here's the thing. There's no auto delivery on this. So if you love chocolate, if you love peanut butter, if you love crunch, you want to get your order and maybe a couple orders in now because soon we're going to get to the point where we can't ship chocolate. This is a hot pick. You have a great price, just about $40 and change with three easy payments. Even has the cinnamon praline peanuts or praline. You say praline, I say praline. It is amazing. Again, the choice last year by our foodies for the best nut mix. Wait till you see it. If you haven't yet, you're going to go nuts. Ha <laughs> ha. See what it said? Anyway, let's kick it off with something that, yes, sold out last time we had it on air. Almost took a year to get back. It's that popular. All right, Miss Stacy, you are exactly right. It was in August, actually a little over a year ago, right? A uh, little over a year ago, we were able to bring this in and it sold out in one airing. If you would like to be able to slice and grate and never put in a battery or plug it into the wall, we're going to show you a very, very easy to use countertop device. It's from House to Home. The countertop suction slicer and grater comes along with three interchangeable barrels. So these barrels pop in there for fine shredding. Here's one for slicing. You're going to be able to do also medium shred in here as well. All of this comes together for $20.98. Oh, but we did not stop there. No, we did not. We put this on easy pay for you tonight because why? We like you. And we put this on two easy payments tonight. Mr. Sean, my producer, if we put this on a cue card tonight, how many easy pays is it? That would be five. So if two is good, five is better. Just use your cue card. Let's come over and meet Chef Ricker, Rickard. Rickard. What Rickard. Is, who's Rickard? Rickard. That would be, well, he goes by Rick and Richard. I love it. I came out Rickard. Rickard. All right. All this right. is Chef Rick Roman. Hello. Good to have you back, buddy. David, great to see you. This is a dynamic item. You and I presented this over a yep. year ago. Sold out in minutes. Yep. Because it's just a smarter mousetrap. It is. You know what? I was so excited to get to present this again because you said no electricity, no plugging in, and it makes easy work of all your shredding and slicing. And what I love about it is suction cup technology so you can safely secure it to any smooth countertop. Now, we have a piece of marble here. This could be your granite, your Corian, your, your any kind of smooth countertop. Now, there's a little locking mechanism here. You're going to put this down on the counter and then turn this dial. You're going to feel it actually push back toward you. Now that's totally secure. You know, we have this on a piece of granite here, yeah. and when Rick pulled that, yeah. the whole Look. piece of granite came loose. Look, I can, I can literally lift this piece of granite. That's how secure that's it how is. That's how secure it is. Now, here's the best part. When we start getting into this, that's your, your food guide. Yep. But what's, and you're also your hand protector. But what's happening here is I want you to see volume, and we're going to get a nice shot here of the front. Check this out, Dave. And I want you to this see. This is a block of cheddar 
cheese. Look at this cheese just shredding through there. And again, perfectly shredded, David. All those little pieces. Now, here's the thing. I want to pop this out because I want to show you something. Easy to change the barrels. I want to show you something. So you simply screw off the handle, pop this barrel out, and now we're going to actually go to a finer grade. I'm going to actually go to. So that was like a medium shred. That's a medium shred, right? I'm going to go to the Parmesan now because I want to show you how it doesn't matter what kind of cheese we're going to pop in. Well, you want to call this a chef's neck? Chef's neck. Mm -hmm. Now you pop in your finer grade. Okay. Now I'm going to simply stick this in, and all you have to do is screw the handle on. Got it. All right. Now we're going to secure it to the countertop. I'll move this plate. Now I want to show you something. We're going to go with some Parmesan. Now check this out, David. Perfect shredded Parmesan. What's great about this, when you put in the hand protector, I can get every last bit of that Parmesan. Take a look at that. Come on. Now we'll put another piece in there. Look at the volume here. You're getting this tremendous volume when you're able to grate it like this. And I will tell you also, hard cheeses are a little easier. If you're using a soft, softer cheese like a cheddar, chill it. Chill if it. You chill it, don't freeze it, but chill it in the refrigerator and leave it there till you're ready to slice, shred it. Then you pop it in there, you're going to get even better results because it's just really coming together. Now, 250 of these are gone, Rick. Now, let's go to slicing because now we showed you coarse and fine grain. Before you do that, okay, I'm going to yeah. do colors. Oh, just yeah, real sure. quickly, Absolutely. only because we've already sold 250 of these. Okay. This is the green. Okay. Here it is in blue. I have it in black. 900 here. And then finally, the gray. Those are my four color choices available. Oh, is there a red down front? I beg your pardon. And a red down front. This also shows you that everything but the base goes in the dishwasher. Correct. Everything except so for the base. So this, 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 and this all go in the dishwasher. Said another way, everything but that goes in the dishwasher. All that goes in the dishwasher, and this you hand clean. All right. Now all right. I would tell you that how many are gone now? 500. Over 500 of these are gone. Now how about slicing summer vegetables? Because we're going to begin them yep. really soon. So we'll start with a cucumber. This could be zucchini, it could be anything you want. Check this out. This is an entire English cucumber. Watch what happens, David, when I just turn this handle. And this is a great thing. So many people Beautiful. struggle with knife skills. You don't have to have any skills at all with this. The guard, you want to make sure you put it in the front way. And look at that an entire English cucumber. I want to show you something here. Every single slice is perfectly the same thickness. So you know you don't have to be a chef. You don't have to use a mandolin if you're intimidated. Absolutely easy to use. How about something like carrots, okay? If you're making your soup, simply put them in the top here. Check this out, David. I'm I mean, still enjoying the cheese. You're enjoying the cheese? I'm all These about it. Two huge carrots. I just want you to take a look at this. I mean, literally in seconds, we have perfectly sliced carrots. If you want to do something like celery for your soups, again, all I have to do, stick them into the chute in the top and simply turn the handle, David, and I can get perfectly sliced celery each and every single time. I mean, you're talking about prepping for your soups, your stews. Look at how much volume you get. No electricity, no knife schools re skills required. I absolutely love this. Now, I want to change this. I'm going to switch over here. I'm going to actually go to the coarse grinder because I want to show you something. We're going to show you how you can make hash browns, okay? Now, you can do, you can do potato, potato hash browns. I'm making a little bit of a mess here, but take mm. a look at this here. I'm just going to come off of here. I'm going to let you know the cheese is safe to eat. The cheese is safe to eat. So I'm going to pop in. I'm going to pop in my coarse grater here, and it's so easy to interchange the blades. I'm going to simply screw the handle on. Now I'm going to take something like a potato, okay? And I'm just going to put it in the top. Watch this. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. And you that's, know a, what? that's a they whole potato. They must use the, something like this in a restaurant. And if they don't, I don't know why. Look at this. I mean, are you kidding me, David? Look at the vitamin. Look how perfectly shredded you can So I've got some updates for you, okay. real quickly. 1,800 of these are gone. And if you are interested in colors, I've got some great ones for you. We're okay. going to begin with green. Then Rick's been using 1,100 left in the green. Okay. Here it is in the blue, 1,000 left in the blue. In the black, 600 black. The gray is right beside that. If you'll point out the gray there, Rick. Yeah, that's the gray right here. And uh, down front is the red. Most popular is the red. 2,200 of these are gone. Sold out when it was on the air in its debut over a year ago, Rick. Dave, here's another great idea. If you want to make something like cauliflower rice, right? Nice. Drop your cauliflower right in the top here. Check this out. I just put the, the floor right in there. Stems and all? Stems and all. Look at this. I mean, it just literally powers through a whole entire floret. And now I'm doing it. This doesn't take any skills at all. All I have to do is crank the handle. And notice how it's secure to the countertop because of that suction cup design. I mean, look at all this cauliflower rice flour. Think about that. I mean, think about all the things, you know, the appliances we have. This is something that you simply leave out on the countertop and you're doing an entire head of cauliflower. Perfect. And look at how everything is shredded.
perfectly. Look at this, David. It's not like there's any inconsistent cuts. You can never do that with a knife unless you were, you know, maybe the best chef I've ever seen. Right. Yeah. Now, Rick, let me just point out again. Yeah. This is the entire unit. Mm -hmm. And you're getting three barrels with this. Now That's you right. unscrew the back here, yep. unscrew here, and then you simply pull the barrel out and swap them out. That's right. You're getting a fine shred, uh, a shred rather, and a coarse shred, mm -hmm. and a slicing barrel. And a slicing barrel. There's your slicing barrel. Now everything but the base goes in the dishwasher. That's right. In now, fact, Rick, let me show, show you everybody that. again yeah, so, how this all comes together. Yeah. So when you secure it to the countertop, all you're going to do is put it on a smooth countertop like this, and then here's a dial that goes from unlock to lock. When I turn this dial. You can feel it grab the countertop. Sure, sure. So now it's secure. How about something like graham cracker crust? Think about how you used to take out a hammer and a plastic bag. Check sure. this out. I'm well, sure it worked out your aggression. But. I mean, this is graham cracker. If you're making a cheesecake, look how easy this goes right through the graham crackers. We're Check now it. half gone. Oh, Lord. Half gone. What sold out? Look at black that. has sold out. Black is gone. Oh, so that's let me a take new the one. Black away. So black is gone. Okay. There we go. Oh, that suction cup is doing all right. Oh, yeah, you got it? You get him off there? Here you go. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, there he is gone. All right, so black is gone. All, all right. right, let me go back over here. All right, so I'm, while you're doing that, I'm going to switch and we're going to do a little bit of chocolate. You know but before you do that, okay. let me just do colors real quick. You got here it. is your green, 600 left in the green. Here's blue, 700 left in the blue. In front of Rick is the gray. I have 900 left in this gray. And then down front is the red, 1,500 in the red. How many gone now total? 5,200 oh, wow. of these are gone. You're doing chocolate now? Chocolate. So I went to that coarser grade because if you want to do something fancy for your desserts, check this out. Watch this. I have a big block of chocolate. Let me get that plate a little closer. Look at how it just literally powers through and gets perfect gratings. David, I'm going to tell you, and notice how I don't have to Those hold. Those are not so much gratings, though. They are, they are shavings. Little shavings. And again, I love, I just want to point this out here. The guard, when you put it in, there's a little arrow that says front. Make sure that's facing toward the front because otherwise the plastic will hit the blade. This way you know it won't hit the blade. Oh, perfect. And you get every ounce of what you put Boy, in there. I can smell that chocolate from here. So if you want to garnish your cakes, your cupcakes, your ice cream, I mean, are you kidding me? I'm your making... milkshakes. I mean, look at this. Either. The cupcakes, look at this beautiful. I'm making a bit of a mess here, but that's all right. But look how fast without electricity, David. No knives. No you don't batteries. You have to put your hands near the blades like a mandolin. You can shred, you can slice, you can do everything with this. So we here. started with 9,000 of these. Yep. And how many are left? If you want green, 450 are left in the green as I grade even more. Oh, Parmesan. look at that Parmesan. I know, look at that. Oh, Come on David, now. David, look at this. All right, so this is the green. How many left here? 350. In the blue, 400 left. The gray, five dozen, and the red down front. Only 700 now in the red down front. What was that? Oh, we, okay, we are very, very busy, so please, gray just sold out. Gray just sold out. So if you are interested in picking this up tonight, let me encourage you. To utilize QVC.com and mobile apps because we are very, very busy. Gray has sold out, black has sold out, green, blue, and red will be soon to follow. This sold out over a year ago. It looks like it's on its way again tonight. David. Rick, thank you, sir. Hey, David, good, good to, to see have you. Back. All right, stay on the line here, Stacy. It's a peanut butter lover's dream. Yeah, it sure is. Mm. And it's coming up. It's our hot pick tonight from Germac last year's 2018 Food Choice Award for Best Nut Mix because it's got it all. It's got chocolate, it's got peanut butter, it's got crunch, it's even got cinnamon praline pieces in it. It's awesome. You get three of the 17 ounce jars. So these are the bigger sizes, but trust me, once you start going on that snack attack, they don't last long. They're that good. Uh, just under $41. Grab a couple of these because there's no auto delivery and we are getting close to not being able to ship any more chocolate due to summer heat. But again, coming up in the show. Hey, I want to give a shout out to our foodie photo winner of the week, Kim C. This is your steak fajita with wheat tortillas looking really, really tasty. So thank you for that. Love the twist of the wheat tortillas. So very, very healthy. And I also want to give out a big happy birthday shout out to one of our big foodies from Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, Sharon. Yes, yeah, Sharon B. It's her birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Sharon B. It's your birthday. Is it Woo! Sharon B or Kim C? No, Kim C's our foodie photo. Sharon B is our birthday shout out. Oh, Sharon B <laughs> is our birthday shout out. Yes. Hey, we sold out of the first item already. Oh my God! Gone. What a star! How about that? Oh, House and, to home. And um, place your orders now. The item number for the Peace Love World sweatshirts in the chat. I know it's blowing up. Everybody's loving it. Guys, do we have a graphic Stacy is wearing? We'll work on it. Okay. okay. All right, dear. All right. Tell everyone in the chat. David says hi. Hey. I will. All right. Here we go. He just did. Hey, time <laughs> now to talk about 
some indoor grilling. You know what? We don't ever have to worry about waiting on Mother Nature to cooperate when you want to have great grilled foods because we've got a one day only priced item. Now, what does that mean? That means that we're able to offer this at a price that is available for this one day only. So it's only good until end of day today at this price or until it sells out, whichever happens first. And I can also tell you it's the lowest price you're going to see on this item for six months. Now, Cooks Essentials brings us this smokeless indoor electric grill, heats up in, in seconds, has that nonstick grill coating, and the grill top and the drip pan that holds a little water down inside all go in the dishwasher. Check this out two, four, six. That's, 12, that's a dozen hot dogs right there for the Little League team, right? So, what we're talking about is two color choices. This is the cinnamon. I also have the black. It's $79.98. It's also four easy payments on your credit card. 700 available in the cinnamon, 1200 in the black, and that is all I have. Let's come over here. Say hello to Shereen Pavlidis. Hello, darling. Hello, sweetie. I just I sashayed over to you. I like yes, it. Yes, I did. I like it. This is Chef Shereen Pavlidis, hello. one of our Cooks Essentials team members. Good to see you. Great to see you. You know what? I always love the convenience of an electric grill. But the big challenge with all electric grills is do you get a great sear? And I think we're seeing your great sear. This is beautiful. Tell us about this. It is beautiful. So this works on infrared, David. So what that is is a rapid, constant heat. So it gives you that even heat. It gives you even grilling. You can see I have these beautiful sear marks, just like you said. The top grate is nonstick. What I like to do is heat it for five to ten minutes. Get it good and hot. Get it good and hot because you want the grate to be hot. That way, instantly you get that beautiful sear. And look at these steaks. These are strip steaks, New York strip. So this is smokeless, just like you said, but it's 60% smokeless. So we are really grilling, and if you take a peek and you look in tight, that is all the smoke that you will see, just a little bit. And the reason being is because where the infrared is, it's on the side, so there's no flare up, and that water in the bottom also diminishes that smoke. So we can now grill inside. And do you see how little smoke there is to worry with? Are our smoke detectors deploying? Exactly. Exactly not, because this is what it's all about. This is controlled grilling. Exactly. But do you see the heat coming up out of that grill? This is consistent grilling. How many of you have a gas or a charcoal grill, and if you don't lay that charcoal out just right, or you've got the one gas jet that really doesn't work all the time, and you end up having hot and cold spots, right? Exactly. This is going to be consistent heat. Really beautiful, easy to work with heat, large grilling service, and also. Pretty exciting too that you can get four boneless chicken breasts on there, no problem. Probably if you if you were to uh, get them cozy on there, probably five. So you're looking at lots of surface area. You're looking at easy cleanup because remember your grill top here will go into the dishwasher along with the water tray down below. Now what I want to remind you is that we are very busy from our uh, first item of the show. So if you are having trouble getting through on the phone lines, let me encourage you to use QVC.com and your mobile app. Those are going to be your two best ordering experiences. And we have two colors tonight. This is the cinnamon, 700 remain, and in the black, only 1,100 now to go around. This is the only day at this price. So we're able to do this at a really super low price. Now, you and I both know shrimp cooks very quickly. Very quickly. So what you've got is some marinated shrimp kebabs here. Yep. How long do you think these will take on the on the electric grill? Not long. Maybe two, three minutes, flip, two, three minutes. That's it. So Done. this is rapid, consistent heat, even heating from the um, infrared. And I just want to show you. See, these are cool free handles. Got it. So you can actually lift this up. And if you can see right down in there, David, so that is the infrared on the sides. Therefore, you get no flare-ups. And then that pan in the bottom. The drip tray. It does. If I can sneak in there, see how that can move? Yeah. So this easily removes that plate's in my way. There we go. That plate easily removes and because you've got that water in there, it helps diminish the smoke and makes for easy cleanup. How many times have you gone to grill outside and you've lost the pro the propane's gone. It's empty. Oh, the propane's empty or in yeah. the middle of the of grilling and it goes empty. Right. And all the guests are there and you're like, uh, what do I do now, now, right? What do I do now? And you've got a charcoal grill and you've run out of charcoal. Or someone lit it too early and it all burned up. This is going to be your opportunity to have instant grilling anytime you need it, regardless of the weather. And that's what we love too. Don't miss out on this opportunity. We are four easy payments of only $20 each. This grill is easy to use and it heats up, Shereen. Instantly. In instantly. Instantly. We're going to show you that because yes. it's important to know they're all on right now. Mm -hmm. But what we're going to do is intentionally turn it off. Mm -hmm. 
And then once you turn your grill plate sideways there, like we did before. Okay. Up top, yeah, perfect. And I want you to draw your attention to this area here. Now, Shireen, talk us through this. Okay, so all you have is an off, a warm, and an on button. So you're going to turn it to warm, two seconds, that starts the starter, and then right to on. Bang. It's bang, instant, boom, so easy. And then again, five, ten minutes, you just want to heat your grill grate so you get those beautiful sear. And look at this salmon. And David, you know what I love? I love that now I can put my teriyaki right on my salmon oh. and not worry about it. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, yes. but I want us to get over here and look at hot okay, dogs. Okay, I love it. Check this out. Who loves a nice little grilled, blistered hot dog, right, in the summertime? But you worry about those uh, gas grills burning it up too quickly. Look what I'm getting here. Look at the beautiful grill marks. The, the, little, the little League team is coming over after ball practice, and you want to have hot dogs for everybody? It's raining outside, David. Oh, no. What are you going to do? You're going to pull out your Cook's Essentials grill. And look at this exactly. in minutes. I've got, I've got Little League worthy hot dogs right here. <laughs> you know what's also great? We have the split top rolls. This is the way God intended a hot dog to be eaten. Yes, he did. Because these are the ones that when I worked in, uh, in the drugstore in high school, there was a soda fountain at the drugstore, we would get these and we would take them and put them on a butter roller. And then we'd uh, put them on a griddle and get them nice and toasty brown. I always do that. And then we'd put the hot dog inside and chili and onion and relish and mustard. How you do it? <clears throat> And That's you can summertime. And you can toast them right on top of here as well, you David. You can do that as well. But look how quickly, and if I want to turn these down, I can do that as well. And I can put this down to the warm setting, and I'm going to be able to bring that heat down to where these now don't burn. They stay nice and warm until the kids are ready to eat the dogs, right? Exactly. So don't miss out on this opportunity. These are very, very popular, and the price will go away end of day today. So this is why you want to be on the line now. Look at this. A whole rack of ribs is now beginning to grill. This grill can be used for everything that you love to barbecue. Everything. You can even make paninis on here. Oh, that would be great. You could, yeah. for sure. And look, I added the chicken right in the beginning of our demonstration, right? And it's already ready to be flipped. So you can look at see. This, you guys. Look at these grill this marks. This is quick. These beautiful grill marks. We're doing it in real time, David. And here's what I love. That's beautiful, Shereen. My husband loves to barbecue chicken. In fact, we did this last night, but I never let him out on our grill. Because you know what he does? He makes a mess, David, and then guess who's left to clean it up? Bing, bing, you. Me, but not here because it's non-stick, David. Now, when I turn this over, we get that beautiful caramelization, and then we don't have to worry about the washing. We're going to put it right into the dishwasher. I like to rinse it first yeah. and then put it in the dishwasher. I want to check on your shrimp here, my darling. Yes. Oh, look at this. These are starting to pink up, too. Oh, my word. See that? So it's quick. So fast. And I love, again, we're not setting off the smoke alarm. You can see right here, we are really grilling. You don't see any smoke, but maybe just a feather, just a little. And that Look is that. enough that you don't even need to turn on your exhaust. I did this last night. I didn't have to turn on my hood to my exhaust. Yeah. And they were beautiful. Well, they are beautiful, and the price is certainly right tonight. So take advantage of this fantastic one day only. And remember, I have it in the black. I also have the cinnamon. And we've got it on four easy payments on your credit card. Already, these right. ribs are starting to show grill marks. This is a super powerful and fast grill. Shereen, thanks, Thank sweetie. Thank you, sweetie. Good to see you, as always. We have a trivia question for everyone tonight. And we're going to talk to you about peanut butter because you know everybody loves it. So what we're going to do is ask you this question. On average, how many peanuts does it take to make a 12-ounce jar of peanut butter? Oh, all the way over here. Now I understand the peanut butter connection. All right, um, how many? Is it 600 peanuts, 1,025 peanuts, 540 peanuts, or 350 peanuts? We're going to tell you after this presentation, have you any guesses there? You think it's 540? What about 600? What about 1025? I don't know. I just remember the first thing that popped into my head. Well, then <laughs> the answer will be after this presentation there, Christy Fletcher. <laughs> hey, it's a hot pick, and we always love bringing you a hot pick on In the Kitchen with David because it's one of our star products of the day. And it wasn't so long ago that we had this on the air, and it was wildly popular, and so we thought we'd bring it back in tonight. We're getting very close to that time of the year where we can't ship anything that melts in the summer months. So this is going to be over the next, next few weeks will be your last few opportunities to get any Germac mixes that have what we call melties inside, right? So this is your opportunity to get yours tonight if you're a lover of both peanut butter and chocolate because this is chock, see what I did there, chock full of all of that. 
Christy Fletcher is back with us. Hi, darling. Hello, darling. Mwah. Mwah. Always good to see you. Good to this see you. This is fantastic. We're looking at a set of three, each of these jars, checking the ounces. This is 17 ounces. 17 ounce jar. Of a peanut butter lover's mix. Tell us all about it. Peanut butter lover's gourmet medley. And this is the Customer Choice Food Award winner for best nut mix in 2018. You voted for it. First of all, thank you for doing that. Lots of nut mixes out there, lots of great nut mixes, and you picked this one in particular, and we're very, very proud of it and very thankful that you did that. Very special assortment because this is the first time, David, really, that Germac has honed in on one of America's favorite snacks. Mm. We took peanut butter, and then we took everything that goes well with peanut butter and threw it in this beautiful mix. It's a recipe. Remember that Germac always makes yes. recipes. So that's the important thing to remember. Why don't you walk us through what's in? Because okay. each each of the three uh, jars are exactly the same. Yes. Okay. So we want to show you what's inside, and it's chock full of everything you Chock full you love. of everything. Chock full. So we'll start with the mini chocolate peanut butter drops and peanut butter cups, I should say. And we sliced one open to show you how thick that milk chocolate is and how thick that peanut butter is. I want to make a point. We do chocolate. It's gourmet chocolatiers, my friends, OK? Gourmet, all gourmet. We, we, this, is a, this is not supermarket food. We ain't playing. All right. We ain't playing. Look, this is a cinnamon praline peanut. This is the only mix yes, that Germac has this in. And I know, David, this is one of your favorites. I love it's it. praline. It's, it's kind of candy-ish. And you don't miss I that I could eat a bucket of just those. Oh, yeah, they're delicious and very unique. Then we go to the creamy peanut butter drop in there, more creaminess for you. And then we go to our batch roasted cashews. Jeremiah has been batch roasting now for 95 years. A little bit of canola oil, a little bit of salt in the Jermac tradition. You're looking for that golden color. And that's kind of a buttery nut, but a different kind of peanut. Creamy, you know, creamy. creamy, creamy. And then we have what I like to call your jelly, because <laughs> this is. A jumbo flame raisin, and you see how that pull is. You see how moist and big it still is. That means it's not. It still thinks it's a grape. Don't mm. tell him he's a raisin. Huge jumbo flame raisins from California. He's a little worried, but he, nonetheless, he's a little, right. little slightly concerned, but that, but, <laughs> but, but not too wrinkly and very chewy and moist. And then we have our batch roasted peanuts, of course, in the Germac tradition. That is your peanut butter lovers award-winning gourmet medley. Mm. I am snacking. And it's fantastic. Let me tell you that 500 of these are now gone. Now, there's no auto delivery on this. So, if you want to stock up on this, let me encourage you to do that because every one of these jars comes sealed. Underneath the lid is a freshness seal. If that freshness seal is left in place, each jar will, rem will remain fresh for one year. So, if you want to buy two or three sets of this so you'll have it to enjoy all summer, just store it in a cool, dry place, That's like right. a pantry, right? Right. There's your freshness seal right there. And they are packed fresh only to your order, to your point, David. Wally and his team in the warehouse get a phone call from me. Packed fresh only to your order. And right, if you keep that seal on, keep it in a cool, dry place. Like you said, you can have your meltables and your chocolate from Germac all summer long. We just can't put it in a truck and ship it to you. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's just the thing. Mm. Because mm. It <laughs> mm. I'm backing up a little bit. Getting ready. So I don't knock you down when I do the happy dance. There it is. Come on now. That Woo! is crazy. <laughs> crazy good. Creamy, crunchy, chewy, sweet, a little bit salty. This is everything you love about peanut butter and chocolate and nuts and raisins and oh my, is it every bit delicious. I have only 3,500 of these to go around and no auto delivery. Everyone mm -hmm. is ordering multiples. And easy pay will go away end of day today. You know what this is? A free for all to the finish line. Oh, sure. Because sounds everybody's good, yeah. like, uh uh, I'm not letting this pass me by. Because what if they can't get this back in and summertime comes and they can't ship it? Well, that's what'll happen because we can't ship it over summertime. Because see those little chocolate peanut butter cups? Mm -hmm. They'll melt in the summer heat. Yep. So we don't ship them during the hot summer. The little peanut butter drops will melt. Will melt. We can't ship those in the heat. We can ship them right now and you may order as many as you like. I want you to see this little piece of goodness. Right there, that. That's cinnamon praline that one. peanut. Since I touched him, I'll eat him. You can have it. And this one is a praline coated, crunchy, sweet peanut. With a little hint of cinnamon. There's a little bit of heaven, is what it is. Nice so crunch. Good. I can hear that. Crunch. You can hear it. I can hear Mostly because I have a big mouth. <laughs> um, can I tell you that we now have only 3,000 of these left to go around? 
That means another 500 have just blown out the door. QVC.com and mobile app is your best ordering experience. You're getting not one jar, not two jars, but three jars of this delicious mix. It's right over here on this end. Yeah, you're there. You can stack them so right check up. Check this out. One, two, three 17 ounce jars. And you may order as many as you like. Why? When you open this up, there's a, well, this one's not a good example. Here, thank there's, you. there's a freshness here. seal right here. Here, thank you. So you open this up, and there's there a freshness is. seal. That's the one. Leave this in place until you're ready to open the jar. Because once you open the jar, trust me, it's going to be gone. <laughs> Uh, but if you're ordering multiples and you leave the seal in place, this jar will stay fresh for one year. One year. So order as many of these as you'd like. We're going to get you all hooked up with peanut butter lovers' dreams. 2,500, all I have left now. Another 500 have flown out the door. Gracious. Let's go through the entire mix again if we can, Christy, right down okay. here on the bottom. Okay, we'll do. I, and you know what? The whole studio now smells like peanut butter. Totally. And chocolate mm -hmm. and nuts because and it's praline and peanut. praline and cinnamon praline peanuts. It's so fresh. We have many peanut butter cups in here for you. Again, we slice one open just to show you how thick. The, and again, gourmet chocolatiers make this for us. Cinnamon praline peanuts. The David Venable love in this mix. I love and this just, mix so much. You, you know, peanut butter and cinnamon go together. You can actually find peanut butter. Cinnamon in a jar in gourmet shops. So you we're can also find. I think don't they make breakfast cereal with peanut butter and cinnamon? Yes, I think if they, they do. Don't, they should. They should. So it's all it's all flavors that marry with your American favorite snack, peanut butter, or one of your American favorite snacks. And then those peanut butter drops in there, all gourmet, nice and creamy, creamy. Mm. And then our batch roasted cashews, one of my favorite nuts, beautiful golden golden cashew. Creamy cashew. And then cashew. we have this big huge jumbo flame raisins. Mm -hmm. Look at the Size of that guy, oh, nice okay. and squishy. Still thinks he's a grape. That's your jelly to me because it still tastes very grapey. That's a very gourmet, gourmet uh, dried fruit that doesn't even taste dried. And then we have our batch roasted peanuts, Georgia Runner peanuts, to round it all out. It's just peanutty deliciousness. I mean, how many times in the evening do y'all get a hankering for a little something sweet and you go into the cabinet and get yourself a spoon? I've done it. And get a big old <laughs> spoonful of peanut butter because sometimes, I mean, I love savory. I love cheese. Y'all know that I love cheese, <laughs> but. I don't, I'm not someone that eats an awful lot of sweets. I enjoy sweets. I just don't tend to eat a lot of them. But when I get a hanger for something sweet at night, I don't want a great big old wedge of cake or something. I just want a spoonful of, say, peanut butter. And that would be great with me. This is like a handful of peanut butter. Plus only better. Only better, right? <laughs> crunchies and yummies and chewies and creamies and chocolate and oh, so good. Now, I will tell you that these are now half gone. Oh, I have fewer than 2,000 left and we are flying with this. Definitely get yours before while the getting is good. This is a 2018 Customer Choice Food Award winner, meaning you all at home, our foodies, voted this your favorite nut mix in 2018. That's out of a lot of different nut mixes, you believe too. It. It's you out of a it. lot of different ones. So we thank you again for that. So it, this is your opportunity. We are very, very busy. QVC.com and mobile app, your two best ordering experiences. And we're going to go to the phones and welcome Carol in California. Carol, how are you tonight? Oh, I'm fine. It's just an honor to speak with you, David. Well, it's an honor to meet you, and it's thrilled to have you here. Christy, I would love to know, have you ever tried the peanut butter lover's mix? Oh, I just emptied the last jar. When they came <laughs> up, I couldn't wait to dial in. <laughs> oh, they're wonderful. Wonderful. Thank tell, you. Tell everybody at home, what, what, thing, what, do you, what do you think makes this mix different than what you can buy at a grocery store? Well, I don't buy them at the grocery store. Well, I just buy go. them from you because they're quality. And they're delicious, they're healthy, and like you said, instead of having a big dessert at night, sometimes I just would like some of the Germex and Mr. Wonderful's wine. <laughs> Mr. Wonderful does make a very fine wine. Yes, Kevin O'Leary <laughs> does. <laughs> well, you know it what? This is going to be perfect. Hers. So you're ordering another another set of three tonight? Yes, yes, Wonderful. for sure. Well, we'll get and it I ordered your Happy Dance t-shirt. I can't wait for them to come. Oh, wonderful. Now, I know a lot of people have been asking when some of the larger sizes are coming back in stock, and they are coming. They are on reorder. But if we had well, your size... Oh, me. wonderful, wonderful. Well, if we had your size, it'll be there any day now. Do me a favor. Yes. Take, take a picture of yourself wearing it and post it to my Facebook page. I'd love to see it. Oh, thank you. I love you, David. Have your cookbook. Just everything. I, oh, I just you sweet you. thing. Thank You're you. Wonderful. Thank you so very much. You and your mother and family have a very blessed Easter. Thank you very much. And I'll also be sure to pass the, that along. Um, lady with you. This is Christy. 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 Hi. Absolutely. <laughs> nice hey, to you talk take to you. good care of yourself <laughs> and come back and visit Thank us you. anytime, Miss Carol. And I appreciate it. God bless. You're so God welcome. Bless you be too. well. Take care, sweetie. Take care. Bye bye. So we started with 4,300 sets. 
I have 1,500 uh -oh. of these left, and then they are gone. Gone, gone, gone. Gone, gone, gone. So this is your opportunity to get yours. You're getting three of these jars, each one 17 ounces, each one with a freshness seal, keeping things inside fresh for one year if you leave it unopened. I will, I will caution you. Yes. You sit in front of the television with a full open jar of this and a good movie on TV, suddenly the jar is going to be empty and you think it has a hole in the bottom. No, it doesn't. It's all in here. All inside the tum-tum. All inside while yep. you're focusing on this the movie. This is one of those mixes that's so good you just keep eating it and don't realize that you're housing the whole jar, right? Well, you're watching the movie. You're, oh, no, don't go behind the door. That's where the bad guy is. No, don't do that. And don't go outside without your bedroom somewhere because he's going to chase you down he's the road. He's going to chase you down the street. Oh, yes, no. He he's got a big ball bat. He's going to chase you. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Um, I talk to the movies too. You're yeah, right. I'm yeah, not, yeah. I'm not the only one. Talking and eating at yeah. the same time. I, sometimes I spit cracker crumbs while I'm talking. Sometimes to the you just gotta. True story. All right, we we started with 4,500 sets. I have fewer than 1,200 to go around. Please be patient on our phone lines. And if you can use QVC.com and mobile app, best way to get through right now. We're going to get you all squared away on this, but I have fewer than 1,200 left. And, oh, I beg your pardon, now it's 900. These oh, are going very quickly. Theater. I have a sneaking suspicion the next time we see this on the screen, it will have a sold out banner on it. Uh, well, good for you. I hope you get it. Miss really Christie. Yes. I'm going to ask everyone and you our question again because we just talked about how much we love peanut butter. On average, how many peanuts does it take to make one 12 ounce jar of peanut butter? Is it 600 peanuts? 1,025? 540 or 350? Your guess was? I said 540. I think I'm a little low. And what is your guess, Mark Charles? Don't look at the screen, Mark Charles. <laughs> 350. Um, well, one of you is right and one of you is wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. It's Christy Fletcher is correct. I'm the nut lady, so according, I was supposed to know. <laughs> according to the National Peanut Board, it takes about 540 <laughs> peanuts. That's a lot of peanuts to make just one 12 ounce jar of peanut butter. So, what's that? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but not as many as 540. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got to go over here and help Mark Thank Charles. You, got to soothe his wounds. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> hey, we have 800 left in the Germac. This is going to go, so please get yours. 540 peanuts is what it takes to make one jar of your favorite peanut butter. But Mark only Charles. one David. Mark Charles. To make. You were close. I was going to say something. <laughs> but you know what? Close only counts in hand grenades and horseshoes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So that you, so your mom always said to you? The only two. <laughs> David, if you can remember one thing out there in the real world. Remember this. <laughs> Almost only counts in horseshoes. All right, hey, let's talk to you about set of two collapsible dish drainers with removable drains. Mark Charles, you're always inventing. Yep, trying. Always developing. Trying. And this is brand new tonight. Mark Charles has developed a great multi purpose mm -hmm. set of two collapsible dish strainers. So, but these are all so much more than that. So, the, the bottom line was I feel like we need buckets, we need extra containers for storage as well as prep, as well as cleaning. And how do you do it where it doesn't take a lot of space? You have a sturdy face, sturdy bottom. The, what I love is this can be sealed, closed, so you actually have no leaking. You can actually Twist it and then it'll drain slowly at the bottom. Or, so you want any clogging, if you're doing a major drain, you can actually pull this all out. So think of the gardeners out there who want to use for their potting shed to fill with dirt and a spade. But I would the fact is that they actually collapse down. They nest on top of each other. You get two of them. Let's take you through why you need these. And let's also be clear, you're getting two, two of these. Two, two, like this. This is what the two of them look like. All done. Sturdy, great, collapsible dish drains. Uh, Straining boards, colanders, buckets, whatever you want to use it for. Well, let me do colors real yep, quickly and then the you'll take us through all the wise yep. and wherefores. Okay. Now, first of all, set of two red. Then I have a set of two blue. And finally, on the end, is the set of two gray. I, uh, you're going to hear me say this all night long. We continue to be very busy from the previous presentation, and this is going to be no different. Okay. So I would encourage you to please use QVC.com and mobile app because we're still very busy with the last few remaining Germac. Then we've got Mark Charles's item sending us back into orbit, and we've got Lock and Lock coming up. It's just going to be a free for all. So all right, here we go. in my home, I just felt like there was something with the need of the extra uh, extra bin. Okay, so whether you're going to use it as an ice bucket, remember this is totally leak proof once you twist the little cap at the bottom. So use it as ice bucket. If you keep it collapsed, you can use it and twist it open. You can actually use it as a low colander for things like your fresh berries. Okay, if you're going to buy any of your produce, a great way not just to wash it, but you can cut and then wash it. 
Maybe you want to get all the pesticides off there and scrub them. You've got a deep bowl, and it doesn't have to be in your sink, which I love. It can be outside because remember, it is watertight once you twist the bottom. If you are a gardener out there and you're going to pick your own produce, what a great way to collect that in your garden and then bring it inside and then wash it all inside of here. If you go right here, this was the original thing that I, I felt like there was times where I needed an extra a dish board, dish bowl, if you will. So here it is holding the water, but watch. I can actually have it here. So if I'm soaking dishes like I have here, I have a lot of dirty utensils. A casserole dish or and, something? Yes, and I want to soak that. I can just leave it there, but my sink is not getting filled up. So here's a way to work those two. Another idea, if you're defrosting, this is frozen lobster tails. Uh, badly frostbitten, by the way, I want to add. But we did this on purpose to give you the idea that you can defrost something, maybe in your sink on your counter, and keeping all you know, the defrosting happening inside the bowl. So it's a yeah. universal bowl for a lot of reasons. 300 sets are gone. This is your gray, most popular and now most limited. Only 1,100 of these go around. In the middle is the blue. Really pretty. And you can also see that little drain in the bottom. Yep. You can turn this to where it will actually stop up the drain so Correct. you can fill this with water. Yep. Or you can turn it to where it will slightly let the water drain away if you're rinsing vegetables, capping strawberries, yep. well, you know, doing it all under the water. Right? Or just draining the water out. Like if you're going to use it as a dish, then you can go in there like a plug and undo it. And let it drain. And then finally on the end is the red. So we've got just the three colors. These are going very quickly. 400 are now gone. If you want the gray, I have fewer than 500 left. At I beg your pardon, 900. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, Sean. 900 left in the gray. Let me tell you real quickly that this is a brand new item tonight. You're seeing it for the very first time. You say all the time to me on Facebook, David, where are the new items? Ta da! This one is brand new. Let me also tell you there is no easy pay on this item tonight unless you have, Samantha, the cue card. The cue card. Mm. Samantha's going to get my cue card. It's okay. small, it's subtle. Oh, yeah. And like if David. you use the cue card, I know, like a Mack truck. Can I tell you if you use the cue card, you know what's going to happen? Five pay. Five pay, Mark Charles. Well, five. And you know what? Your cue oh, card. Oh, this is your small one, by the way. Yeah, this You is, have a bigger one than that. I do have a larger like one. Like three than times this. the size. Yeah, I have to, <laughs> I'm going to need a bigger card to carry it home. <laughs> this is your cue card. Yours won't be quite as big as mine. But if you use it, you can put this on five pay tonight. Great time to be using your cue card. Remember, 900 of these, Mark two Charles. Two bowls that you can use in the kitchen, in the garden, in the garage, any time of the year, but they fold down to this. This is the two, the two bowls right there. Remember that drain at the bottom, you twist it closed. There's a silicone I want to pull out to show you. That silicone shows you that that's going to keep all the water in. So you have three choices. You can actually close this up. That means it's sealed completely. If you twist it once but leave it there, you're actually draining slowly. But if you don't want things to clog and you want it out, you can actually remove the whole thing so you have no clogging. One of the tips I wanted to point out too, David, that I use this for, I prep whole chickens a lot of time, and you know that you, sometimes you have to wash the slime off. Sometimes they're a little, you know, unruly. They're going to slide all over you the place. You also need to pat them dry before you, to, you roast them. So I rinse off. I pat dry in here, and then I season in here because it's going to actually Doesn't catch make a everything. Mess. Doesn't make a mess, right? Oh, Mark Charles, if I were doing a turkey breast or a small whole turkey for Thanksgiving, and I was trying to get herbed butter under the skin because that's what I do in my turkeys. I put herbed mm -hmm. butter under the skin so it melts into the breast as it roasts. So good. It's silly. It's silly, but you don't realize how much oh, you need. Can we brine uh, in here? You can brine in here. That's so if you're going to really do a turkey smart. breast, I mean, you're not going to do a 20 pound. 22 pound turkey, but I think a turkey breast and something up to around 10 pounds, you can brine a turkey or a chicken in here. Mark Charles, let me just say and point out one thing just to make very clear. You get two. You get two. You're getting two for this price. And these, one collapses down, uh, one has, one here is collapsed down, one is not. Yeah. You can use them any way you like. If you want this gray, I have 400 left. Blue, only 1,100 left. Red, 900 left. And Mark Charles again, five easy payments if you use that cue card tonight. We're going to see you back a little later. You got the Kunrakan shears. Of, yeah. What do you think of this idea? I think it's a cool, again, I'm trying to bring you things that make my life a little easier in the kitchen. And I think this is one of those ideas. We always need that extra bucket, that extra drain board, that extra ice bucket, but I want no storage. We made it collapsible, but still sturdy with a drainer in it that you can actually keep it or strain it. I think you should celebrate. Oh, thank you. It's a good one. I hope you guys like it. All this. right. I think, uh, I think that much is evidenced by how many orders? 1800 are now Thank gone. You everybody. Stay on the line. Mark Charles is coming back later with some Kuhn Rakan shears. And Stacy, do you have the pork strip steaks? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. So this is brand new from Rostelli's. You know how David and I rave about 
when Ray Rostelli brings his pork ribeye. Well, guess what? We have something new. This is the prime pork strip steak, just like your beef New York strip steak, but this is pork. Now, this is going to be a leaner cut, but just as tender as those very popular and very well reviewed pork ribeyes from Rostelli. This is a one day only offer. So guess what? The price on this is expiring. This is uh, you get 10 of them. They're six ounce strip steak. So perfect size. You get 10 for under $58, but this price will go back up at the end of the day. They're also for the first time on three easy pay. So we can't wait to dig in because I'm such a fan of the ribeye to try the strip steak. So awesome. OK, so a lot of you blowing up the chat and my Facebook and Instagram about the shirt that I'm wearing right there on the page. Peace, love, world, tie-dye sweatshirt. It's 100% cotton. It's super cozy. Not quite sure if we have easy pay on it, but please get your order in. Very, very popular. I stay true to size. This is an extra small. Supposed to have a little bit of that looser fit. This is all about, I don't know, to me, a little bit of a 90s throwback. I don't know about you, David, but we match you and your lavender, me and the tie-dye. Exactly. All right, hey, we're moving along. We've got more to share with you and some brand new cookware tonight from our friends at TFAL. There's a name you maybe haven't heard in a while, but the TFAL hasn't gone anywhere. We've got fantastic cooking with TFAL, and tonight we're talking to you about the fantastic square pan. I believe we decided that this one is. Is this four quarts? Six quarts. Yes. Thank you, Miss Lisa Brady. You're welcome. Six quart. You're also getting this uh, ten-inch uh, open fry pan. You might call it an everyday pan, and you're even getting the metal tongs. In addition to all of that, you're also getting a recipe book with thirty recipes inside. This is forty-nine dollars and ninety-eight cents. It's K four eight two five seven. Lots and lots of you are going to be excited about this, but I need to tell you a few things that are important to know. We've got this on Easy Pay tonight. All three of them. We've got free shipping on this tonight. And there is no reorder on this tonight. If you were to go to retail to buy this exact same set, you'd pay over $74. We are over $24 less with the free shipping. We're now almost 30, well, over $31 less delivered to your door. This little red T foul symbol is something to be keeping your eye on. When these pans get to temperature, that little disc turns solid red. That lets you know the pan is preheated and ready to roll. Do you see a little flex of blue in there? You know why? It's sapphire. What? Sapphire? Sa mm -hmm. Now we remember from our from our days in gym uh, gemstone class. Yes. Sapphires, Lisa Brady, are very Lock. strong, very yes. hard, yes. very durable. Exactly. So the same idea is happening in this nonstick. Right. Tell us about yeah. T-Fall. Give okay. us a little history. So T-Fall. I don't know if you knew this, but actually in 1954. They created the first nonstick frying pan. How about that? A little bit of trivia for you, but Tefal, it's a name we know and trust because they've been around forever. We've, you know, cooked with our Tefal for that many years, and Tefal is something that you're going to use. It's going to go generation to generation to well, generation. Well, and when I first started at QVC 25 years ago, Tefal was the big name in cookware here at QVC. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this has been has had a long history here at QVC as well. Right. So this is really exciting for you to see this even heat distribution. Mm -hmm. You're also loving that fantastic nonstick. And right. the thermospot technology, technology, is that right? Yes, that's correct. All right, so tell us about okay. that because as we're looking so, at this. Yeah, so what, what I was showing you here is this is my chicken, so I'm using it as a deep fryer. And again, because it's that you know 12 inch square deep pan, it's mm. actually six quarts, so you can get a lot of capacity in there. So I love it for that. I'm not worried about splatter because it's got such high sides. Right. But if you go over here to my egg, I just wanted to show you look at how this egg, it literally is just, I can just. You know, move it around in the pan. And again, that's we, because we have three layers, David, of that sapphire infused non stick. Not one, not two, but three, because we really wanted to make it non stick and nice and strong and durable. So I'm going to Now, take you heard that. me say earlier that this mm -hmm. changes colors. And I think I yes. said the entire thing turns red. It does not. Those little hash marks disappear. Yes, exactly. So you see those little hash marks that are appearing around the circle mm -hmm. there? That, that pan's coming back to uh, back off temperature. Right. And that's why you're seeing them beginning to appear again. When right. it comes back to temperature, all those little Hash marks around the tea disappear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, David. And that's when you know because you never want to put food into a cold pan. You want it to be the right temperature. And this thermospot technology is going to let you know that your pan is at the right temperature. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some pancakes in there. Well, you know what? Let me let that heat up a little bit more first. We'll turn our steaks over. It's Let's doing do pretty that. Well, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's funny because on the camera, when we're looking at it here, David, there's no lines, but the camera seems to pick up the lines. It may be the angle so, of the camera shooting. Yeah, when you have this at home, you'll be able to tell it's totally ready when those center lines there disappear. So let's put some pancakes in here. I just did my eggs. I love this. This is a great 10 inch for Oh, some skillet silver dollar breakfast. pancakes. Yeah, just some smaller pancakes. Well, that would be three. You could eat all three of those, David. That's well, my yeah. size. Okay. <laughs> all right, no cool. question. So let's go over here. I want to show you. I did the filet mignon. Look at the beautiful browning that you get, David. Now I'm noticing you're using metal utensils I in am. this pan, and we should point out that mm -hmm. because of that sapphire, you've got mm -hmm. a super durable nonstick. Right. Now, if you use metal in there, you might make a mark on it. Yeah. But it will not hurt the nonstick. This tea fowl mm -hmm. is sapphire tough. Exactly, and that's why we have those three layers of it, David. Like you said, like the gym. It's like we all know sapphire is. Strong, mm. durable, and it might show a little mark on there, but you're going to be totally fine when it comes to that non stick still working. Here again is what you're getting you're getting that six quart square pan with the cook and look lid. Mm -hmm. You're also receiving the tongs, right? 30 recipes inside. Yes. And finally, we have it for you in this 10 inch fry pan every day. So, right. Take advantage of this. We've got it all coming together. Can this go in the dishwasher? It sure can, David. Cue the angel dishwasher chorus. safe. And it's also oven safe, David, up to 500, 500 degrees. degrees. Now, because of this plate on the bottom, can it go on inductions? Yes, it sure on can. It's got that tops? stainless steel, yes, that base, so that it can go on gas, it can go on electric, it can go on ceramic, and it can go on induction cooker. Do you see the blue inside the pan there? Mm -hmm. That's not Specs. pretty paint, that's sapphire. Yeah. Three layers of sapphire nonstick inside with the thermospot technology. All those little hash marks when this pan comes to temperature, all those little hash marks around the tea disappear. And that lets you know your pan has come to temperature. Nice and deep as well. You can fry in this. I want you to remember that this is a set that we cannot get a reorder on. This is $49.98. It's three easy payments. It's free shipping and handling. With our great price and free shipping, we're over $31 less delivered to your door. You know what these are? These are sticky rolls. <laughs> a mess. <laughs> that are yeah. lined with bacon on the they inside. They are, David. And you can actually uh -huh. find these in the recipe book on page, uh, let's see here. These are on page 65. They're towards the end of the book. I think it might be actually the last recipe. It might be worth but, paging through the book for that. Yeah, these are store bought cinnamon buns, right? And all we did was we cooked our bacon first, and then we added, I'm going to go right for the whole deep end here. Then we added the bacon. We unrolled it, and then we added the bacon. <laughs> Well. Sorry, Carol. <laughs> it's not coming out of the bag, and I like some lots of you know. You know what? We'll just we'll get a little. Uh, a, we'll go offset spatula. We'll spread okay. it out. Okay, here that's we can all. do this. We'll use that all right. Oh, that'll work too. Thank okay. you, dear. And then yeah, how about right, look right, at right. this apple pie? This is also this is easy homemade apple pie. Page fifty-five of the recipe not book. Not sure I made that any better. That's okay. Right. I think it looks beautiful. Beautiful, hey, David. let me tell you, we are three easy payments, free shipping and handling, and we're over thirty-one dollars less delivered to your door. Remember, this also goes into your dishwasher for quick and easy cleanup, mm -hmm. and into the oven up to five hundred yes. degrees. Exactly. Pancakes are ready to be flipped. Yep. As we are wrapping up this presentation, stay on the line for T-Fowl. It's the heat master, mm -hmm. and it's all included, brand new tonight. Thank you, darling. Thank you, David. We're going to check in with Stacy, who's going to tell us okay. all about the Beauty Bash coming Very up. Cool. Yeah, June. we're really excited about it. I'm going to be a part of it. We're presenting the Beauty Bash this June 7th through the 9th in Philadelphia. Tickets are actually on sale right now. This event consists of more than 40 of QVC's most prestige beauty brands, all offering fun beauty treatments under one roof. There'll be giveaways. Music, food, there'll even be a chance for you to meet your favorite beauty experts, such as Jamie Kern Lima of It Cosmetics. Mally will be there, Josie will be there. You also have the opportunity to meet some of your favorite program hosts. I'll be there on June 8th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can check out um, all of the host schedules on which days they'll be there. And best of all, your ticket gets you a ridiculous swag bag filled with some of your favorite beauty bar uh, brands. So tickets are limited. Don't delay. Go to QVC.com. Com, search Beauty Bash for all the information, David. Looking forward to that big event in June, but right now another one day only priced item and a price that's only good until end of day today or until the item sells out, whichever happens first. You should also know that this is the lowest price you're going to see on these Rostelli pork strip steaks for six months. Hmm. Ray Rostelli, our personal butcher, is back Great with us. Good to see you, pal. Nice to see you. Now, recently we had your pork ribeye steaks on. That's right. And they were a huge hit. If memory serves me, I believe they sold out. They did. So this is the pork prime strip steak. I want you to think about New York, what New York strip is to beef. That's right. This is to pork. 
And you also put together a compound butter with this. I did. A Tuscan garlic. Oh, Mr. Rostelli, it's back. The other white meat is on the table tonight. And look at all that juice. <laughs> Where you see juice, you see flavor. Tell us about these. So this is the cousin to the prime pork ribeye, David. Right. This is the other end of the loin, which means it's leaner. It's one solid muscle, but that doesn't take away from anything. What it does, it gives you a beautiful lean, and I like to call it a steak because it's, calling it a chop doesn't do it justice, but look at the moisture that's in that. And when I can take a chop or a steak that's as thick as this, and I can take a nice slice, look, it kind of goes through it just like butter, and then I just take every slice that's been trimmed, take my fork. Now, I want you to see, this is so, a strip. This is a New York strip. Right New York pork. strip pork steak. Look at this. With a fork, boys With and girls. Fork, right through it. Do you see a knife? I don't. There is no, no knife. No, I do not. There, right? So that's that's what makes this so special. You know, pork for, for years and years, we've overcooked it. Our grandmothers cooked it at 160, 170, 180, 145 degrees, and you've got a great, beautiful prime pork mm. strip steak. Now, I also spy some mm. of this compound butter. That is right. Tuscan so. garlic. So, this is the kind of thing that you would put on the steak after you, yes, and it actually, cooks. Yes, and actually, after it cooks, and here I've got some cooking in here, and I actually added a little bit to the bottom of the pan just to. Oh, and look nice. at that slice caramelization on that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, these right. are so amazing. Yeah, so here I'm, I'm going to add just a little bit of compound butter just to the top of them. Um, so they can and are these for tasting that. right They now? are all for tasting, oh, sir. Oh, good. And you know, this just like that prime pork rib steak, this is the prime pork strip steak, versatile. It can do so many different things with this mm. product. I mean, this becomes a really uh -huh. elegant. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, Ray, come on. Even though it's not the pork rib steak, it's still every bit as juicy. Unbelievably flavorful. Do you have any seasoning on this at all? I put a little of this seasoning right here on it, yes. Mm, just, just. And it's so juicy. Yeah. Oh my word. Isn't that amazing? That's a crazy good. It, it really is. It's it's something that is so so special. And you know, in the butcher shop, David, it is our number one selling pork on the prime pork rib steak and the prime pork strip steak. Because remember, it's out of the same exact loin of pork. Mm -hmm. it's, Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Worthy of the happy there dance. There it is. <laughs> Woo! Mm. All right. What's the story? Mm. Ten six ounce prime pork steaks with the compound butter. It's a Tuscan garlic. I have 2,300 sets to go around. No auto delivery on this. And every time we bring in your pork steaks, they sell out. They, they are crazy they, delicious. They Stacy keeps these in her freezer. I send these to my mom for her birthday because you know what? Flowers die. <laughs> the pork just lives on. This is such a versatile piece of meat, too. Cut this up into a stir fry. Make pork fajitas. Do a, a, a cut this up and serve it over salad if you like. It, I love what you did here. You pounded it. All we did was breaded it. Pound it out. A little bit. Fried it. And you're going to get that same incredible tenderness. So watch with a fork again. I, I'm just going to slice um, a piece would here. Would this be some that we could taste? Oh, there we <laughs> a steak <laughs> just slipped right in, this. right? <laughs> Are you kidding? This is the best. But it just, it, it, because this is such mm. a tender piece of pork, it works with everything here as we did it up pork fried. There you go. You got a fork there? Steaks are I sure did. Okay. So jump right in and mm -hmm. taste that. Now, this is the one. It's been breaded. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. believe it just falls apart in your mouth. It does. It's, it's, it's so tender. <clears throat> you know, there are mm. so many people that, that say to me, this is as tender as veal is. Right? But it's not veal, it's pork. It's that <laughs> other pork. It's that other wow. white meat, right? Just it's really an incredible, incredible okay. flavor profile. Right. I mean, just plain <clears throat> on its own. On yeah. its own. There's Whoa. a little bit of seasoning on there, and that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. This is crazy good. Really delicious, easy to prepare, and I know you keep this in your freezer, don't you? I have the ribeye on auto delivery. We just got another shipment the other day, but oh, perfect! I gotta go in for one more oh, bite. I'll and, let you guys be. And, but. Yeah. <laughs> and what's <laughs> nice is they come individually vacuum packed, so I want you to really get up tight. As you'll notice, this is one solid muscle, right? That's why I say when it's not the ribeye, it's the New York strip. It's beautiful. It's lean. It's got the most amount of flavor and tenderness in it, but you get one solid muscle. And what I love about that is, as you said, David, we get opportunities to do lots of things. So let me take you to Butcher Block really fast. Real do. Because, okay. because this is what a loin of pork looks like. We've taken just the center. We've cut beautiful pork steaks here, which is what we're grilling. 
Here I've pounded it out, David, and that's what that pork fried sure. uh, is. Here I've cut it into cubes. I've got some kebabs over there. Nice. I've cut them into strips here for heat for heat is. And look, they're so thick because they're six ounces. Stuff them. We can stuff them. So there's so many different things we'll we can put a do with stuff in this there. pork. Yes. 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 Oh my <laughs> word, so good. This is going very quickly. I have fewer than 1,900 now to go around. This is a one-day only price. There is no auto delivery on this. Stock up on these, Ray, because they'll last in the freezer. How long? They will last in your freezer. For 12 months. 12 months. So if you want to go ahead and get uh, a couple of sets tonight, it would be absolutely worth your while. Let me also remind you this is on Easy Pay. I believe that's three, if, if, my, if my old eyes can read that. <laughs> three Easy Payments. Thank you. So you're looking at three Easy Payments on this. You're also going to love that we can do this for you at such a phenomenal value tonight. And these are not the pork chops you buy in the grocery store. I need to just relieve you of that notion because this is something very, very special. Look how juicy these are. Now, Ray, on average, you cook a pork steak like this to what internal temp? 145. 145. As it rests, it will continue to cook a bit more. Yeah, yes? Exactly. And these these are the, the steaks that I just put right next to me in this pan. So a little bit of compound butter, a little bit of red wine. And David, I want you to just to take a little bite of this because Ooh. you're this really elevates Don't ask this me but one time. El elevates this steak to be something very, very, All very right, special. And you cook this in a white wine sauce? Right with the white wine sauce and that beautiful Tuscan herb. Butter. Butter is and, crazy. And, and 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 I'm not a cook. I'm just a I'm just a butcher. Mm. So that's how easy that is. And I just love that about this product. Oh my word. You yeah. guys, if you love pork the way I do, you will not be disappointed. If you trust me when it comes to food, <laughs> trust me on these. This is the best pork you're ever going to put in your mouth. Trust me on that. This is not the chewy, tough, dry pork chop that you sometimes find at the grocery store. This is the kind of pork that you wish you could make at home. You go to a restaurant and you're like, where do they get these beautiful cuts of pork? Yeah. I can't find that in my market. That's well, there's a reason for that yes. because this is that cut above, right? It is. So now you're getting it and you've got it in your own freezer <laughs> at home. These kinds of results can be yours each and every time. Fewer than 1,600 now to go around and there is no reorder on these. <laughs> this is a special buy. We were only able to get so many from Ray. He was only able to commit to so many at this price. As much as we like to think we're his only customer, we are not. <laughs> He's got a lot of people depending on him for their quality meats all around the world. This is your opportunity to get yours tonight. They are going quickly. This is pork chop stuffed with macaroni and cheese. It is. I think maybe we have just found the gateway to heaven. <laughs> yes, we have. And yes, we have. And again, just so easy because it's a nice thick chop. It's easy to put a pocket in it and stuff it with anything, whether here it's mac and cheese. Last week we did it with mac and cheese and bacon. What if you stuffed Just, it with whole sautéed apples? Oh, that sounds wonderful. Like apple slices? Yes, that yeah. sounds wonderful. Cooked in cinnamon and butter? Yep. yep. Here we've done it in a fajita. So I just sliced it nice and thin on a griddle. Tip, really. Pork Two tacos. To three minutes. We've got pork tacos. Can we have some pork tacos up in here with some fresh yes. salsa or pico de it, gallo? It is. Uh -huh. It is really that simple. It's, it makes me. As a butcher, look like I really know what I'm doing as a cook. You do know right. what you're you know, doing. My goodness, you start look at this. The, when you start you got blistered tomatoes yes. and bell pepper, yes. <laughs> and you got a red, a white wine sauce there going in that skillet. <clears throat> this is what it's all about, folks. And if you want the quality meat, then you turn to the quality butcher. And that's Rostelli. Over half our quantity is now gone. I have 1,200 left. And when those are gone, we will not be reordering this particular pack up. Then, even if we have any of these left over, we won't have, be able to duplicate this price for a minimum of six months. If you wake up tomorrow morning and wish you had ordered this today and we have any left, oh yeah, we'll sell you some. <laughs> but we'll sell it to you at the higher price yes. of what is that, $69 <laughs> and change? Get it tonight for $57.64, more importantly on Easy Pay. But most importantly, just get this pork strip steak. It is that good. This is extraordinary. Mr. Rostelli, more pork, please. Yes, sir. Great to see you. We Thank need you. to we need to have you on Friday on Friday night. There you go. Pork. Absolutely. We'll have a we'll have a fajita party. <laughs> we'll do that on a Friday night. That we'll sounds like that. a good plan. Hey, let's all remind you about Germac. We started with four thousand three hundred of these, and fewer than two hundred remain. Now I'm going to keep you posted on the Rostelli uh, pork steaks because. Only a thousand left, and what happens after the presentation? That's when they all click out of here. So please don't miss uh, miss out on that. We're about to go from one item that put us into orbit into another, and that other is lock and lock. Now I know we all like things that are in harmony, right? We like things to match that bring balance and peace into our lives. Well, one of those things is perhaps a Zen bowl, a square bowl with rounded edges.
so everything feels harmonious and perfect. Patty Kramer is back with us. Hi, Patty. Nice to be here Good tonight. to see you. Patty is here from Lock and Lock, and we've got a fantastic set of Lock and Lock um, six piece Zen set. Yes. We call these Zen bowls because they are squares mm -hmm. with rounded corners. Yes, they are. Yeah. They're square with rounded board corners. So tell us about these. Sure. So you're going to get a set of six. So they're right here. These are four of them, and these are four cups each. And then you get two right here, and these have a little divider in here, like the little bento boxes, so you can make a little treat on top for yourself. And I'll show you. So you're getting a total of six, um, and all of them are four cups each. And this is the brand new jade green for today. I love it. That jade <laughs> green has really become a very popular color for us. And we're able to do it tonight uh, for $20.98 and three easy payments on your credit card. Let's take a look down front because here are all your color choices. Mm -hmm. And we're going to begin with, I believe, Golden Sands. Is that yes. right? Oh, that's yeah, just gold. That's gold. I'll that's make that's gold. Just gold, $5.50 in the gold. Here's silver. Platinum. That would be platinum. <laughs> I beg your pardon. And platinum is brand new tonight. 400 there. Jay Green is new, 700. Polar Blue, 150. Red, available. Cinnamon, available. Black, copper, and clear. Now, three easy payments on your credit card. Put it on your Q card tonight. That could be five easy I'm payments. Five easy payments. I like that. So, again, lock and lock. It's easy to open one handed, and in every single lid is a silicone seal, and that's what makes it airtight and watertight in the seal. And I just want to show you there you go, you can see the seal right there, and that's what makes it airtight and watertight. Now, to explain to you these little boxes, so on the top, I've got my sausage and I've got my strawberries, but what I have underneath is I have my pancakes. Oh, look at that. So then I'm going to just warm up my pancakes, and I want to show you we've got this little thing right here. Just put little this inside, in little cup in the middle for your syrup. So you can, after you warm it up, you can just open it up and you can just go ahead and pour your syrup right on there. And that's what we love about it. And then you can put your strawberries on there and everything. That's so that's perfect. Perfect. Nice mm -hmm. for a little lunch or a breakfast mm -hmm. uh, take uh, to work. You could also put a salad in here, put your salad dressing in the little cup. Yes. You could put fruit in there and put fruit dip in the mm -hmm. little cup. So many different ways to work with this. The best part of all, you can even fit. A little cheesecake inside. Check this, this out. This is our little favorite store, David. And I picked this up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to make sure this stays fresh because these are expensive. Yeah. And you know they are. And th I do love the fruit cheesecakes. And again, you can just put it upside down like that I, and it's perfect. And I was watching on Friday night and I saw you made your spinach artichoke dip. Yes, we did. Yes, you did. So you gave me inspiration to make some little spinach artichoke dip. And again, if you want to microwave in these, no worries. They're BPA free. And all you do when you microwave, if you want to warm up your dip, is just turn the lid upside down. Uh, you know what? Just tonight, I made uh, pasta with meat sauce on Monday night. It was mm -hmm. my, Monday and Tuesday is my weekend. And so I made some uh, pasta with meat sauce and I had leftovers, so I brought it in the lock and lock tonight. And then after my meetings, I had about an hour before I had to go to makeup, we have a microwave in the host lounge. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to uh, pop that into the microwave. I just turned my lid upside down. Yeah. And that way I was able to heat my pasta. And then go into my dressing room and enjoy some hot pasta from just the other night. This is so, so nice. And when I was transporting it today, I had it in a little lunch bag. It was all locked closed. I didn't have to worry about leaking. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to worry about any kind of problem. And I didn't have to worry about any smell either in my dressing room yeah. with all that pasta and meat sauce, right? Yeah, especially the pasta meat sauce. So again, these are four cups. So here is a sandwich underneath to show you to take the sandwich to go. And then up on top, I've got the little. Um, uh, uh, chips and stuff, and then I've got some cookies to the side, and then again, in here, I have my little favorite treats in here, some oh, nice. Chewy's little candies. I love uh, that. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at color. Well, first let's take a look at what we're getting. We're getting four of Th them that are four cups without the drop-in inserts, mm -hmm. and then you're getting two of them with the drop-in inserts. With the inserts, mm -hmm. exactly. So six pieces in total. Together. This is the gold. Five fifty. Here is platinum, brand new. 350 left. Jay Green is also brand new. 600 left. Here's Polar Blue. Only 100 in the Polar Blue. Here's your red, popular, cinnamon, black, copper, and clear. 400 of these are now spoken for. Three easy payments on your credit card. Remembering also, this is a great way to use your Q card tonight because three easy pays can turn into five. What do you have next? So, what I want to show you, so this time of year, okay, these are your little favorite things you're asking me what I was munching on before I came in. I do love the little cheese <laughs> And this crackers. is the whole box, David. Really? This is the whole box 
in the four cups and I just want to show you. So you, you get the crackers out of there so the heat and humidity and you don't have to worry about it. And then you go ahead and you seal it. And But I know David's going to be sad, but it's not going to open until you go around and open it up. And that's what we love about the lock and lock. Again, in here I've got some, salad. love this for the salad. Just opening it with one hand so you can see it's easy. And, and all your toppings. Toppings. I'm making a little Caesar salad. So you got to go right like that. And you've got all the toppings right there. And I love about the toppings on the sides because the croutons, if you put them in the salad, will get all yucky. And then we've got the chicken, the bacon, and then right in the top here, I've got the little salad dressing. Well, it's all perfect. It all works out so nicely. Don't miss out on your opportunity to pick this up tonight. Take advantage of the great easy pay and also know that these are the kinds of dividers now that make life even easier when you're taking food on the go, particularly with those drop-in inserts. They make all the difference in terms of separating your food, organizing your food, making sure things don't get too soggy before you're ready to heat them up or enjoy them for your lunch or your dinner. This is K46584. And how many gone now, Sean? 800 of these are now spoken for. Take advantage of the great easy pay. That's any credit card you're using tonight. And if you are using your Q card, you can get it on five easy payments tonight. Price will go up on these, Patty, at the end of the day today. So we're excited to have them for you. I know. So I just want to show you. So you can see, even though I had the, the um, inserts in there, they stack up easily. So you can see what you have in the refrigerator or freezer. And if you're somebody who preps ahead of time, you can prep ahead of time and you can see exactly what's in there. So no worries at all. And if you want to freeze something, you can just take it and put it in the freezer because they're freezer safe. Now, everybody stay on the line for these. We're going to get you all squared away with your Zen set. And now over 1,000 sets are gone. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, David. Nice to see you. Now, I do want to remind you my cookbook is also available tonight. And well over 200, I think it's about 215,000 now that have been ordered. And I'm so excited and so thrilled that so many of you are enjoying the book. And if you own the book and have been cooking from it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and a review on QVC.com. Just go to this item number and write a review. I read every one of the reviews, good, bad, or indifferent, so I'm very happy to read your thoughts. And if you have the book and you've been cooking from it, I'd love for you to share your review. If you have not yet purchased the book, tonight would be a great night to do that because with your Q card, you can put it on five pay. There are 110 recipes in the book. Every recipe, 10 ingredients or less, and every recipe has a full page color photo. Now, speaking of cookbooks, we have America's Test Kitchen Perfect Burger Cookbook coming up in the show tonight. Oh, yes, burgers of every kind. We're going to talk to you about that coming up. But right now, we're going to talk to you about Ninja. And this is the 1200 watt IntelliSense kitchen system with a smart vessel recognition. This is a blender with a machine, but it's the multi blade technology. It's everything you're looking for. Kenzie Swanhart is here to give us a guided tour. Welcome back. Hey, thanks, nice, nice to, to see, see you. you. So, let, real quickly, let's walk yeah. down here. Just showing everyone that this is a multi component system, but the base is where the brains are. Exactly. Because every time you swap out what's on top, the base recognizes it yep. and changes the menu, doesn't it? Exactly. How exactly. about that? A little kitchen tech. So you're going <laughs> to get the large multi blade mm -hmm. uh, carafe. You're also getting the food processor. Yes. Here's your smoothie maker and to go cup, mm -hmm. your to go lid, a dough blade, and we're giving you 75 recipes to get you started. I have only 1,100 of these to go around. Yes, they're on six pay. Let's put this to its faces. Great. So, like you said, this is a smart kitchen system. We've built the brains into the base so it recognizes your vessel and what you want to make. So, we're going to kick it off because Ninja is known for its power. Those total crushing blades are known to break right through ice and turn it into snow. So, what we're doing is we're making a margarita using our total crushing pitcher. Pop right on the lid. And if you go straight in front, you'll see your options now for what you're able to do. These are all preset programs. You can do ice cream, you can do frozen drink, you can do snow cone, and you can even do a smoothie. So we're going to choose frozen drink. And right away, you hear that power of Ninja that we're known for attacking all of the ice to snow. It's pulsing and pausing. That's auto IQ at work so that it pulls all of the ingredients straight to the blade. And because it's auto IQ, you can walk away. Maybe go get the salsa ready for the party while your margaritas are being made. But because it looks just about done, I'm going to go ahead and pop that off because it's blended straight to my likeness. Ooh. And with that easy pour lid, a frosty, creamy snow cone is ready Look in at seconds. That. Can, can I offer that uh, to you? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I poured you it a can. little high. Oh, no worries. Mmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Stacey, you didn't want any of this, did you? Okay, good. Mm. 
now. Ooh, I've got a little go-go juice in it. <laughs> I'm going to put that down. I'll have to Uber home. All right. Fantastic. That is lovely. And the texture, you're right, is right? perfect. Perfect. Nice and creamy, that resort style cocktail. We can all pretend we're on the beach. Mm. Now, because of the uh, intelligence built into the base here, we are switching out our pitcher to our single serve cup. I'm going to engage that. And right in front, if you follow me to the screen, we have four new options. So we can now do an extraction, a smoothie. But a how did that happen? So just watch this. I'm going to undo. Click it straight in. That is that smart vessel recognition. So it recognized that you took off the multi blade carafe mm -hmm. and you put on the to go smoothie cup, and now it's giving you different blending options. Completely new options. Totally a blender with a brain. A blender, I love that. A blender with a brain. So we're going to go ahead and choose extract. And I recommend using extract versus smoothie when you have um, fibrous greens. Um, we had some grapes in there with the skin still on, cucumber with the skin and seeds. And you saw it just pulled all of those ingredients down to the blade. That is IntelliSense. That is the Auto IQ in action. Um, really, so that you don't have to jiggle it around. It's going to pull all of those ingredients down and create a super smooth consistency. And what's great about this is the machine knows how long it should run. Yes. You can do it like this and walk away. Mm -hmm. And when it's done, it'll shut itself off. And all you do is open it up and enjoy. You're going to get the large multi blade technology. You're getting the base, which is universal. It, it, it supports all the different attachments. Here's your to go smoothie cup that Kenzie's working with now. Here's your food processor that will also do your doughs. Here's your to go cup lid and 75 recipes to get you started. At retail, this is nearly $160. We're over $17.80 less. We're also six easy payments on your credit card. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Ninja is a name synonymous with blending, mm -hmm. extracting, mm -hmm. and doing it smartly. Check Getting this out. All of those ingredients really broken down. And here I'm using the to go lid just to pour it out into a cup to show you how nice and smooth we've gotten. You could take this to go or pop a straw. And Ooh, give it a try. Give me a try. Here we go. <laughs> all right. Mmm. And this is full of vegetables. Full of veggies, full of fruit. But you wouldn't taste the vegetables necessarily because what you taste is the more dominant flavor, which is the fruit. Exactly. You take maybe some grape in there. We've got a little cucumber, so it's refreshing. This I do is taste our the cucumber. Cucumber quench recipe, mm. and that can be found on my Facebook page. Really, really. And what is your Facebook page? Kenzie Swanhart. Quin Super simple. Super simple. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Now, I do want to let you know that we've got six easy payments on this tonight. Don't miss out on this. One of the most trendy things to do, and my new cookbook calls for, I have a pork stir fry. Using cauliflower rice. Cauliflower is everywhere right you now. You can buy cauliflower <laughs> rice already riced for mm -hmm. you, but you're going to pay for the privilege. Exactly. Look here, you can take cauliflower, pop it into the food processor, and let the ninja do the work. And so, right up front again, we've got a whole new variety of options for our food processor. You can puree, you can chop, you can make dips. And again, you get that dough blade, so you can do up to two pounds of pizza dough or cookie dough. I'm going to go ahead and choose chop for my cauliflower rice. <laughs> And it's a very quick program. It's just starting and stopping on a dime to break all of the cauliflower down to create that rice consistency. I don't know how you do it, David, but if you try to do this by hand, you're going to create a mess oh, everywhere no, in the kitchen. Oh no, I always buy it in the grocery store. <laughs> you pre, you buy it pre-rice. Yeah, I just. Go, but you know what? I but also I pay for that privilege, right? Here in twenty, what was that? Twenty seconds? Yeah, 29 seconds? about twenty. You got. Perfect cauliflower rice. And now that's ready to go right into my recipe for mm -hmm. pork stir fry. Yes. You can utilize this for just about any kind of recipe you're looking to do. And if you're looking to go low carb, bing, 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 exactly. this is the way to go, right? This is definitely the way to go. And just watch all of that rice is rice consistency. See, that's it's beautiful. all broken down. Um, Kenzie. Powdery. Kenzie. Yes. I'm told we have time for one more demo, and I think I spy a milkshake. Uh, so we've got chocolate mousse or sorbet, your choice. Chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. Mm. <laughs> chocolate All right. So in addition to this single serve cup being great for things like smoothies, I like a little chocolate dessert. So what I'm going to do yep. is actually use not a preset program, but very simply just use our um, low and high setting. So I'm just going to go right here and choose uh, high. <laughs> And it's breaking down all of the chocolate chips because I like to add a little texture. Oh, you put chips in chips there. In okay. It, along with a little heavy cream. And you just hear it. There you go. Did you hear how it got a little faster? I that did. means it's done. And we just whipped fresh chocolate mousse in what was that, like 15 seconds? Oh, um, if that. If that. 
15 gonna, seconds to fresh. You can just dive right uh, well, in I was if you'd just like. Gonna, I was going to do a shortcut, shorthand it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh-huh. Creamy. Hold on. Hold on, back it up. A little happy dance. <laughs> Woo! That is some kind of wonderful right there, my darling. Thank you so much. Woo! Dessert. And I breakfast. love the little bits of chocolate chip in there because I can taste it of just a little chewy. Yes, yes, just a little texture. Mm. Mm -hmm. But then it melts right away yep. on the heat of your tongue. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's secret so good. Secret recipe. Um, big Not high secret. five on that. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Stay on the line here, but let me tell you, every item we have from this moment on between now and end of show is less than $45. Nice. Every single one of them. It's time for some Coon Recon with Mark Charles. I'll see you later, Kenzie Swan. Thanks, right. David. Fantastic chocolate Good dessert. Good to see you. All right, darling, you too. All right. So, Mark Charles, I am told 11,000 of your sheer sets have been ordered. They just premiered. Just since Friday. Yeah, they premiered on Friday. You love them. Mm. We have a couple co colors gone, but I have the remaining colors left. We have one, two, three, four, five colors left. So before we do that, I'll inter reintroduce Mark Charles Basili to you. He's our gadget guru for, did we say 16 or 18 18. Years? 18. I just made 18 years. 18 you years. know the number. You always forget. I always forget. 18 <laughs> years. 18 years. It's like your age. 18. Just like it times a lot. Times I three. I say that all I said was 18. <laughs> See, I was trying to be nice. You were. Um, all right. Hey, let's talk to everybody about this. Because for 18 years, Mark Charles has been bringing great gadgets to QVC. This is another iteration of his shears, sometimes called snips. These sometimes are called all scissors, our friends whatever you want at Kuhn Rakan. Yep. So the idea is to take a pair of scissors and make them so much better by making them strong enough to go through that clam packing, making them strong enough to go through zip ties, Making them be able to go to through, through certain wires, being able to actually craft with them and not worry because they do so much that a regular pair of scissors wouldn't have the strength to. Why? Because of the surgical stainless steel, because of the self sharpening. Sorry for all the pipe cleaners. For the spring, you've got a one hand lock here. There is a handle on here so you can actually keep it like a regular pair of scissors. We added some features. Here is a pull tab. So when you have these kind of cans, we actually added this to it so you can actually go like this and open it up. So we added that. Over here, you're going to see that there is a bottle opener right there. So you can actually take a libation, if you will, and open that up like that. A libation? If that wasn't worth the price of admission, we gave you a box cutter. This little cap on here is there for a reason. So when it's protecting the blade, but also protecting you a little bit, because when you remove it and you look at that edge right there, see that edge right there? We put in a built-in box cutter. It's not a huge, you know, uh, harmful blade, but it's just enough so you can do a couple things. One is you're going to take that and open up your packages from QVC right through the tape that quickly, right? But it's actually strong enough if you're going to break down your boxes, you can actually do that. So you have that built-in box cutter in there. So not only that, we always say that there's four categories that this works in the home or should have in the home. One in the garden, one in the garage, one in the craft room, and one in the kitchen. But you actually keep one in each of those areas. Don't cross-contaminate because these are food grade safe, so they're great to work in the kitchen, but we don't want you to use the garage ones into the kitchen. So Absolutely true. And I will tell you also that we have these for you on Easy Pay tonight. This is $20.88, two equal payments on your credit card of $10.44. Now, just one pair of these at $20 and some cents, you might think that was a pretty good deal. Yeah. You'd be right. But you're getting two tonight. Here's your set of two in the red. I have a set of two in the black. Don't forget, I've also got a set of two in our blue. There's your green. But if you want raspberry, I have 750 left to go around in the raspberry, and that is all. These are brand new this week. This was an item we kicked off on QVC 2 on Friday night. And we had an opportunity to bring it to you then first. And since that time, over how many? Over 11,000 have now been spoken for, Mark Charles. We love this. So, again, you've seen me do it in, in different sets. This is just a new setup. What I want you to know is that this has never changed. This patent technology and this blade has never changed. We just change the handles and the extra features that are on there. This is something that can be used around the home, the garage, the garden, the craft room. We've had people call in and say they use it for the tackle boxes. People who are um, crafters and sewers, people who are bakers. I mean, you could actually open up anything you need with package wise, 
and not abuse because once you do this, what happens is you can actually keep crisscrossing. So you can actually take a piece of really delicate wired on the end, silk ribbon, and still go through it without any burr marks. Look at that edge on there. And I just went through four different kinds of wire, clamp packing, a zip tie, and carpeting, but I got that edge afterwards on this very delicate um, uh, ribbon. So we love that. If you are any kind of quilter, I just want to show you, we always do this little test to show you. How many pieces is this? I actually didn't count, so I'm going to show you. I think we can, look, you get a straight edge, but let's look. Do you see how many layers there are on that? Look at that. Good grief. Is that unbelievable? So great for uh, folks who sew, yep. Quilters, who craft, patchwork, quilt. things like that. Look at that, straight edge. So it just works everywhere in the house, even DIY. We love the fact that you realize these can be used as tin snips, so we got those tin signs. Let me tell you also real quickly that now half the quantity we brought in on Friday to kick this off, now gone. Over a thousand gone during In the Kitchen with David. You can get this on two easy payments tonight. These are going to be great to tuck away in a gift closet. Oh, for sure. But I would go ahead and use these right away. And if you're buying more than one set and you're getting different colors, think about this. Wow. Leave one pair out into the garage, put Good one call. in the kids' bedroom, put one in the family, you know, kitchen drawer. Anywhere you're going to need these snips, leave one pair in the kitchen so you only use it for food. Leave another pair maybe by the front door, and that's where you open your packages, right? Yep. So all this comes together for you. You get not one, but two of these. And red is most popular, and that's never a surprise. Yeah, of course, our foodie red. So here's your foodie red, most popular tonight. Beside that is the black. If you want blue, 1400 left. Green, only 1100 And then finally in raspberry, 400 are what I have remaining. These are two easy payments, but Mark Charles, have you used that cue card tonight? You know this one? Oh, that's the regular size one. I this like is, I like the maximum one that well, we Well, we need a flatbed trailer to get the other yeah, one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's very large. But I will tell you, if you're using your cue card tonight on any item that you're buying, you can put it on five pay. Ooh, cool. Now, your normally your uh, easy pay on a cue card is three. We've upped it for the month of April to five. Nice. How about that? Is that in the honor of my birthday? Must be. <laughs> um, all right, so all this coming together for you at a really fantastic price and over 12,000 now ordered since Friday and 1,600 during QVC or during In the Kitchen with David tonight. So all this is going very quickly and I'm going to tell you, so is our show. We're almost an it hour and a half into our two hour this, show. This show went fast. By the way, did we mention that these are righty and lefties? You don't, they're not. You Just can, swap them. Swap them. You can use them. Swap them. Swap them. Um, Mark Charles, will I see you on Sunday? No, I'm actually a, a, away for the Easter weekend. And my birthday's next Tuesday, so my family's taking me away for Easter, my birthday this weekend. Mm. So I get to have the weekend off. Thank you very much. You know what? We're going to get you the same thing we got you last year, except what? in blue. Oh, I really use it almost every day. So thanks from last year. the blue one this year. Does nothing come in colors? I love that. Yeah, nothing does come in colors. Doesn't but, come in colors. but your love is eternal. Happy birthday! Thank Mark you. Charles. Thank you. Thank and you. Happy Thank you. And happy Easter. Safe travels. Thank you. Happy Easter, everybody. Sa Great safe, safe travels. Hey, uh, who's ready for the ultimate burger? And you know what else I'm ready for? To finally have Julia Davidson back in our cookbook corner. I feel like it's been forever, but guess what? The wait worth it. Look from America's Test Kitchen, the ultimate burger cookbook. This is Burgers Done Right. We're talking about 141 different burger recipes. Burgers like, oh, I don't know, a classic beef burger. In front of me, these are turkey burgers with cranberry relish and smoked gouda. Oh, yes. There are shrimp burgers. There's black bean burgers. Oh, and I just flipped a page open. Grilled blue cheeseburgers with bacon and tomato relish. There's a loaded nacho burger. You get the idea, right? Everything for everybody. It is here. You're going to reserve your copy now. Less than $17, and it's a beautiful hard book, hardcover burger book. Try to say that five times fast. So, yes, Julia Davidson here in the show. Woo! Don't go away. Can't miss that. Now, though, we do have to clean up the place. Here's Simply Clean with David. All righty, we've got a great item tonight for you. If you're tired of paying all that money for paper towels at the supermarket and you're really worried about the amount of paper towels you go through because none of us ever pull off a sheet, right? We pull off four or five because we need four or five when only one would have done. And what happens to all those paper towels after it's over? They go into the garbage that then go into the landfill and they may be around here long after we're all gone. So why not dispose of all of that and just invest in something called supercloth? 
it behaves just like a, a paper towel. In fact, in many cases, better. Right. For sure. And you're going to be able to use it over and over again because you rinse. Ring and reuse. That's it. This is Erica Swineford, one of our cleaning Hi. specialists on QVC. It's great yes, to be back. Thanks for having me, nice David. Nice to see you. How many of these do we get? Three in a set. Three. So, and these are the super cloth that you guys remember that you know and love, but with a fresh new design. So they work just the same as you've come to trust on glass, on mirrors, on stainless steel, on windows, and on your dry dusting. So I took a couple of swipes on this mirror, mirrored surface. In a couple seconds, you're going to see that dry. Super cloth has been proven to leave your surfaces streak-free, spot-free, lint-free every time with no chemicals. All I'm using is water. And like you said, when I'm finished cleaning my surfaces, I'm finished dusting, I'm finished cleaning windows, glass mirrors, all I do is rinse, wring it out, and then reuse it again and again and is again. Is it important when we use it that it be slightly damp? Slightly damp, right. So you can feel the difference. We have a dry one here. Mm -hmm. You can feel how it feels like suede almost because this is not a microfiber. It's actually a bonded fiber from Italy that's patented. And what it does is it actually almost works like a squeegee to really get those fingerprints, get the lint, the that's dust, great. the spots, the streaks off of your smooth surfaces, but then it also damp dusts as well. And something like this as well. Absolutely. No because chemicals, got just Water. How many of you have those mercury glass pieces from Valerie Park right. Hill? Perfect. Yeah, it'd be great <laughs> for that because when they get a little dusty, you can do that without leaving fingerprints mm -hmm. on them, which is really fantastic. Look how exactly, shiny exactly. Wow. And I love using these too because um, my kids help clean. They do chores on Saturday, and the bathrooms are what I have them do. And I can hand them these to do the mirrors, and I don't have to worry about them breathing in chemicals when they spray it, and I don't have to worry about the chemicals going all over their toothbrushes. But you'll find when you use this, there is nothing better for your windows and your mirrored surfaces. I'm not using any of the blue stuff, no chemicals. I'm simply using that super cloth, and you see as that moisture dissipates and evaporates, I'm left with a perfectly clean, spot free, lint free, streak free surface every time with now, just water. That's it. Important to know that these are customer top rated. You're getting three of these, and they're reusable over and over and over again. Don't use any chemicals in, uh, if you don't want to, because just by dampening this cloth, you'll want to rinse it, wring it. Right. And then reuse it. And reuse it. And so it's not just for glass, windows, mirrors, but I love to show you this. It's actually your best dusting friend, I mean, you'll ever find because you can see it picked up all of the dust off of this table. But here's what I love the dust sticks to the cloth. Because I'm damp dusting, it's safe for my finest wood furniture, but it also means that that dust stays put until I rinse this right down the drain and then I wring it out and reuse it again and again. It's amazing. And what you're going to love about these pieces is that you're not having to go out and buy right. this. <laughs> All of that stuff, right? Over and over. And here's the other right. piece. We don't ever go to the roll of paper towels and do this. Exactly. <laughs> and pull off just one. No, we don't. Do we do this? Uh huh. And you grab off this many because you think you need this many, right. and then you're, you know, it's, it's no, because you're, you don't need that many to do the job. And then what happens to all those paper towels? They go right into the trash. This is going to allow you to use this over and over and over again. Your ceiling fan blades. I didn't understand this until I was at someone's house one time who had low ceilings. Right. <laughs> Thank goodness they didn't have the ceiling fan on. I bumped my head on the ceiling fan. <laughs> And all this dust came raining down on me. Now the right? host of the party was horrified because she didn't know all that dust was up exactly, there. Exactly, right? Because you can't see it, right? For sure. But it's there. This is perfect for things like that. And again, I'm going right from my wooden ceiling fan blade right to mirrors, right to a picture frame with glass and wood. It cleans combinations of things. And this frame you wouldn't even know was dirty, but look at that dust that it picks up and traps. And again, it stays put on the super cloth until I take it and rinse it down the drain. And you're getting three of them, so you can leave one upstairs, one downstairs, one out in the car. It's perfect for your car windshield, that, that kind of white haze that we get. We all um, get it. And, it. and again, it's not using any chemicals. How many of you have a personal mobile device? What I mean is a phone. You have a smartphone with a screen that you touch all day mm -hmm. with your fingers. Put it up to your face, ladies, and get a little makeup on that phone. You got it. And you have a <laughs> tablet that is touch screen. Obviously, the screen is be is made to be used and touched right. multiple times every day, but it gets filthy. It does. And again, I'm cleaning surface to surface here. So one tool, one cloth. I don't need glass cleaner. I don't need you know the the 
special polishes for my wood furniture. I'm simply going surface to surface and on an electronics, it's great because not only does it remove the dust, it actually breaks that bond that the static cling forms so that you find you really have to clean less often, which is what I am all about. So it's just so easy because it's multi-surface cleaning with one cloth. Well, it's really, really perfect. And it's great for dusting all surfaces. The electromagnetic um, situation created by your TV screens, as you mentioned, um, all the big screen TVs in our homes collect yes, all that dust. Yes. And then the electrostatic you know, quality of the television attracts the dust. This helps you get after that. How many of you have those beautiful stainless steel appliances and or trash cans in your kitchen? This is going to do the job for you. These are customer top rated, $22.50. And if you're hoping for easy pay tonight, simply use your cue card and you've got easy pay. Five of them tonight. V36170, Erica, always hey, a pleasure, thank dear. You. Happy nice to see you. <laughs> and let's update you on the Germac. Thank you. I have 150 left in Germac. And that is all. So if you'd like the Germac, now's your time to get it because we are super, super limited in what we have remaining. And we've got a fantastic price on those. But remember, you will not have an opportunity to get those melties much longer because when we get into the warmer months, we can't ship them. This is M57058, fewer than 150 now left to go around. Well, as the weather starts to warm up outside and we are all thinking about firing up the grill, what's the first thing you're probably cooking? It's probably burgers, right? And are you tired of the same old, same old when it comes to burgers? Same old beef burger you buy at the supermarket or maybe the same old turkey burger you buy at the supermarket? Why don't we turn to the people that know everything there is to know about food? Let's turn to America's Test Kitchen, where every one of the recipes in their brand new Ultimate Burger Cookbook each burger or side or topping was tested 30 times or more. This is from the same PBS show you know, love, and trust from a team of chefs that get together and they work a recipe until they work all the kinks out of it. And they make all of us home cooks feel oh so good in the kitchen. Let's welcome Julia Collin Davidson back to QVC. You know her from the show. Hello. We know her from our show. Hello. You look wonderful in purple. Do you like it me in is lavender? Your color. It's Easter almost. I know. It's so festive. I had to bust out some spring color it makes tonight. Your eyes glimmer. I oh, love it. you sweet talker. <laughs> well, let's talk burgers right now. All right. Well, you know, it's cool if you think about, right, you get used to burgers being the same thing you do every time you right. buy them from the store. But imagine you have a little trick up your sleeve and you become the burger the burger person. The, the burger, burger guru. Guy. Yes. Like you you make one thing and you make it so well, that's what you give it known for. So and that's what this book is about. And 41 recipes. Yep. Most of them burger recipes. Most of them, but not all. But we're also going to do sides, like the perfect fries. We're yep. going to do the perfect onion. Rings. You're going to do candied bacon. How are you doing? Um, right. All the and and bread and butter pickles. You got toppings and aiolis yes, and all and kinds of yummies. And milkshakes. And milkshakes because what's better with a burger than that? Ah. So let's start with a what do you say a classic burger? Classic burger. So here's a classic beef burger. Here we go. This one. This guy. Listen. Now uh, a lot of our recipes you can use store bought meat, but we're not going. We're also going to tell you. You can grind your own meat. It is so easy well, in the in food a, processor. Well, in our KitchenAid uh, food grinder that's attachments it. are it's also perfect. great. perfect. We love that food processor. Yeah. Buy steak tips. For your average burger, buy steak tips. Cut them up. They're already boneless. They're not expensive. Cut them up into about one inch chunks. Put them in the freezer for 20 minutes. Pulse it in the food processor. About 20 minutes, you have freshly ground beef, the kind you can't buy at the store, and your burgers will be better for it. And you know exactly what's inside. That's it. And I love that you use a food processor yes. because not all of us have that fancy food grinder no. attachment. And actually, I love the food processor better than the meat grinder. I have both. I prefer the food processor. And you've tried it in both. Yeah, I think it makes a better grind. All right, here we go. Because you have some bigger chunks of steak. So you were able to grind this with steak tips. Yeah, steak tips. Of course, mm. there's a, and you don't have to flavor a good steak like that too much. Mm. Right? Isn't that good? It's just. Oh, come on. It's rich. It's the way yeah, beef should be. Yeah, it's just a really good burger. That's a gr I'm very moist. Yeah, because you ground your own meat and you don't overcook it. Those are the only two keys for making a burger. And our recipes tell you how to cook it indoors or outdoors on a gas or a charcoal grill. We give you all your options. Do you also give us tips on cooking burgers of for the right course, temperature? Of course, because different burgers, like this turkey burger, yeah. you have to try this turkey Would burger. Love it. All right, here you go. So this is turkey. You can grind your own turkey or buy it. It has smoked gouda and a little bit of this homemade cranberry relish on top. Look, 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 look. It's but, like Thanksgiving on a bun. It is. And you know, so Thanksgiving, you think of stuffing, you think of those herbs. There's a secret hiding in there for you. Oh, really? Yeah. On the top of the bun, this is what we found. Take a little butter, a yeah. little celery seed, a uh. little dried sage, put it in the microwave, melt it, and you brush it on the top of the bun. What now? So it tastes like stuffing. 
right? Oh, so my it has word. those stuffing flavors. Oh, it's got the sage in yes. it. Yes. And so you get a little of that flavor on the bread, and mm. you get the turkey, and you get the relish. It's those. <laughs> okay, Stacy, you know what this burger makes me do? It's a turkey burger. I've never heard that. And in it person. makes me happy dance. There we go. My gobble gobble is Stacy's favorite it thing I do. It is so authentic. Mm -hmm. She loves it. She loves it. But she doesn't like it at all. But it's mm -hmm. those little tricks the melted butter with the sage that you brush on the bun. It's not hard. It's those little things that'll take your burger all the way. Now, try. you got to try a little of this. this is candied the can bacon. Candied bacon. Really easy to make. Okay. You put this on a burger, it takes your burger from like a two to a hundred. Mm. So it's bacon. You cut it into half pieces. You put it in the oven on a rack. A little brown sugar and salt and pepper. Shitting me with this? Are you care? I'm I, I'm surprised all this is still here and I haven't eaten it all. So you make enough so you can snack on it and put some on the burgers. Oh, I I, okay. I left this nice and cold for you. Mm. Now this is shipping out on April 30th, mm -hmm. so a couple more weeks. A couple more weeks. Shoe string fries, the easiest ever French fries. Tell me about easiest ever French fries. So you use Yukon Gold potatoes. Don't okay. use russets. Don't use any other potatoes. You put them in cold oil in your Dutch oven. Cold oil. Cold oil. You bring the oil up. The cold oil cooks the potatoes through. Then it makes them crisp at the end. Easiest ever. No double frying. No batches. And it doesn't absorb all the oil. No. Because, you, the, because the potatoes are You hard. have to use Yukon Gold potatoes. Oh. Uh huh. Hey, let me thumb through the book. Oh, how many are gone now, Sean? Over 500 books are gone. Every single one of the 141 recipes has a color photo. Every single one. Are there vegetarian burgers in here? Of course. Cauliflower burgers are to die for. Now, I've got a fan going over here, guys, which is why my pages are blowing back. I'm sorry about that. I'm holding it. The book will open a little more easily than this. Spiced turkey burgers with that mango chutney. Oh, my word. Patty oh, melt. Oh, I love a patty melt. I did melt. a patty melt in my new cookbook. Oh, did love you? love patty melt. Oh, melts. it's something about the rye bread. Oh, of course. Oh, and have you ever had the these? These are bananas. You saute onions, and then what? you make a pile of onions, and you smash the burger around the onions. What? And it is, it is beyond good. Oh, my word. So many cool, like, grilled, well-done burgers. Yes, All there's a trick if you want your burgers well done so Absolutely. they're not dry. And how good are dill pickles on a burger? Oh, there, we have a quick pickle recipe in here. It's, quick it takes, pickles? Are yeah. these bread and uh, uh, What am I trying to say? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Bread and butter? <laughs> <laughs> they are bread and butter. They're bread so, and butter. So, quick pickles. You don't need a food. You don't need to process them. It takes about three hours. You put cucumbers in there. You bring the liquid up. Mm. But it's the balance. You got to have the right ratio of sugar to vinegar to water. I don't and know that's if you all have. watched Julia on her show, but you must because I call her the food encyclopedia. <laughs> There is not a, ever a question I've ever asked her about food that she can't answer. She is she is a plethora of information, and her books are just a great example of that. Now these are milkshakes, yes. Oh yes. So this and milkshake. Very frosty. It's yeah. I kind of wanted to keep them cold, so it's hot right, here. Right, right. This is a cookies and Irish cream. Oh. Oh yeah. So it's got these, go -go juice yeah, in it? it has a little go go juice in it. Mm. It is so good. Of course, because we have. All sorts of salads, and potato salads, right? And milkshakes and lemonades and really good sweet tea. Mm, mm, but the, mm. this, I know, I know, this is kind of worth the price worth the price of the book. I mean, this is a brain freeze worth getting. Isn't it? Are you kidding me? I know. Oh my word. So it's a little bit of everything. It's a lot of burgers. It's a little bit of happy dance worthy <laughs> is what it is. There it is. Oh, this book is crazy. You guys, what you must know about America's Test Kitchen. Team of chefs that work tirelessly, day in and day out. Not only on their show, but in their books mm -hmm. to test recipes. Every one of these recipes, 141 of them, That's right. tested 30 times mm -hmm. each or more until they're perfect. Yep. Until all us home cooks can take one of their books and achieve these same great results. Yep. We're talking about perfect onion rings. Tell me real quickly mm. the secret to perfect onion rings. Oh, you soak them in uh, cider vinegar before you batter them. Before you batter yes, them? Yes, because it changes the pH and also adds a little bit of flavor. And change the pH so that they stay crunchy. And, and they are nice stuff. and crunchy. Right? That's that's what pH does when you fry things. I love pH. <laughs> pH loves you too. I adore you. Oh, you sweet so thing. nice to see you. How many are gone now, Sean? Over twelve hundred books are gone. Wow. I couldn't re I couldn't re uh, recommend these books more highly. You are an angel. So nice to Come see you. Come and see us again. We'll do. Thank we'll love you. Love it. And these books ship out on April the thirtieth. Don't miss the ultimate burger book and put it on Easy Pay tonight with your Q card. All five of them. There you go. It's my cue card. Enjoy that bacon. <laughs> Time to get mad hungry up in here. All right. Oh. Hi there. Lucinda Scala Quinn. I'm just Are hanging you here? out. Are you here with new spurtles tonight? I am here with a new set. Mwah. A new set of spurtles. Brand new set and a brand new family member.
And who is our, uh, introduce us to the new family member. So the new family member is a customer request, which is a Spurtle spoon. So if you already have Spurtle sets, this is worth the price of admission mm. alone. It's beautiful. Yes. And David, they're acacia wood. Our beloved acacia wood Spurtles. We have original, slotted, whoops, skinny, and the spoon. Now, Shall I jump right in, my dear, or do you have something to say? Well, you know what? Say? I should probably do my colors real quickly. Do because your you have colors. taken us through all of the gorgeous pieces here. The spurtle spoon, the solid spurt, the slotted spurt, and the skinny spurt. All of this coming together for you in the all-natural collection. So we're going to get you all squared away. In addition to that, I've got it for you in red. Red, obviously, the color on the handles here. Then I'm going to take you into coral. From coral, we take you into the blue... From blue, no, is that blue? What is that? That's teal, I beg your pardon. But beside that is the black, and on the end is the blue. My apologies. So you're getting the solid spurtle, the spurtle spoon, the slotted spurtle, and the skinny spurt, but designed to get right into the corner of every pair. Well, let's just review the spurtle attributes, which is that the spurtle, which was an originally a uh, 16th century tool designed to stir oatmeal, gets right into your pan, and that's why we love it, aside from the fact that it doesn't ruin your pan. So you can see when you go in there and stir, and you can stir it over, you can get an idea of why it is such a wonderful tool for what it was. So that's the original. Now, I thought that if one was good for stirring, how about add some slots, and then suddenly we have something that can, oh, let's say, separate an egg, just for starters, which is pretty super cool when you're cooking in the kitchen. But also, you can use it to whisk, because it's right. got a whisking function. And you're so, going to be able to get some air in there. Well, instead of just going, it's, it's also about not having multiple tools, David. So now, I don't I, think this was your intention, but it smells awfully good. You made brown butter. I'm making brown butter uh, scrambled eggs, because I want you to see that I don't have to get a whisk or a fork. I just go right in here, and then now that I've got it all whisked up, I don't have to then go get another spoon because our spurtle, which is beautifully designed just to get right into our pan and not ruin our pan, and I, I get a kick out of every single time I make scrambled eggs. Okay, here we go. I'm going to let that go, and then I'm going to show the rest, and then I'm going to culminate in our brand new baby. Of course, this is the skinny. This is another customer favorite, and I always need this when I'm getting down into the bottom of any, any jar like this, especially the Nutella jar. I could stay here all day. I'm not going to. Now, as for the spoon spurtle, the spurtle spoon, right. as much as the spurtle does, there just are those times, David, where you need to scoop something up. Let's just say you need a spoonful of meatballs. meatballs because this would be my house exactly. So this particular serving spoon, it serves, but it also, because of the shape, goes in there and does every single thing that our actual spurtle does, which is get into the sides, into the corners of your pan. And cook those eggs up And exactly why a spurtle? I mean, I look here, look at this. This is scraped. I, can't, I just cringe every time I see people put metal on their beautiful pans. Don't do it. Another thing you can do here with our slotted spurtle it becomes a kind of makeshift colander a little strainer. It'll, it'll, a little strainer it'll just hold back anything that you need to whether it's a pan or whatever and my darling we should remind everyone that this is brand new these acacia wood pieces are not designed to go in your dishwasher you can but it'll just shorten the life of the of the spurtle so wash them by hand exactly. let them dry thoroughly but if you're going to be making mac and cheese, use use the spurtle spoon. Yeah, yeah. Use it, you can stir with it. A lot you can of that mac and cheese it. out of there. A lot of it, and it scoops, and that's one of the beautiful things about or do the this. spoon. Let that bowl be your helping, and I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> of them. All right, take a look right over here at colors again. I want to remind you, as is always the case, natural is the most popular. So here is your natural choice. That natural is always the one that everyone gravitates to, and we've got the beautiful natural, and it's most popular again tonight. Beside that is the red. Then I take you into coral. From coral, we go to teal, from teal to black, and finally to your blue on the end. Now, we're most limited in that blue. Remember, these are not designed for the dishwasher. They're much more designed to be cleaned up in warm, soapy water in the sink. Dry them thoroughly, and then get them back into action or into the crock by the stove for the next time you're cooking. Also, Lucinda, if you use your cue card tonight, this big one. Yeah. Well, not everyone's is this big, but you know. <laughs> it's important to know if you use your cue card tonight, you can put this on five pay. 
which is awesome. Spaghetti squash. It's important to know that I just did that while you were talking. I just scooped the whole thing out with the, the whole thing of the spaghetti whole, squash. And can we also talk about this beautiful acacia wood? I mean, every single one is different. We say it's like nature's thumbprint. This is natural, natural striation. It's beautiful. Another thing that you can do here with your slotted is just like all the spurtles, you can do this. But I love this because look at that. I got every single little bit out. And then if I'm going to go straight ahead and start mashing, I can mash. Or make avocado toast. Make avocado toast as all the cool kids are doing. <laughs> I like to show with the original just exactly why it's such an awesome tool. You scrape. You scoop and when you scoop you scoop in and you just get what you need just with one scoop you then smash because it's tuna so we have to smash and you have this whole area that you can smash and then you stir so I like to show this because I like to show the actions you're scraping you're scooping you're stirring and you're smashing and I'm sorry but it's the hardest working tool in your kitchen you fall in love with it and everybody just doesn't even believe they, people constantly write me with new things they're doing I'm gonna separate a, a, an egg here well you'll also find that it's your go-to tool and in the kitchen I will say that one of my sons in my kitchen who's a cook he said mom this might be my favorite set you've ever put together I'm well, folding now let me tell you real quickly we've now taken orders for 800 sets this set is brand new tonight. It includes the brand new spurtle spoon. And as we are folding and mixing and scraping and smashing and stirring and sifting and all the other great things that you'll find a spurtle useful for, get yours now tonight and utilize that cue card for your easy pay. Miss Lucinda, thank you, darling. Bye, darling. Mwah. Follow you, her everybody. on Instagram at MadHungry and watch her great cooking Insta stories. I'm going to watch your latest one tonight when I get home. I hope I will, darling. Who are all these tasters in my kitchen? I have no idea. Hey, you know I'm saying, who are the short fellas you brought with you? Don't let Eddie get Security, the I did. Security really. back away from uh -huh. the street. The Scott Just brothers are back. Hi, guys. Just Always love hanging out. See you, I pal. really am the short. Come on, Stacey. Yeah. I really am the <laughs> short. And I'm you know what? Wearing it's like shields. family reunion time. <laughs> exactly. Hey, we're, we're celebrating Pizza Party Month, and we wanted to Ooh. make these little sweet pizza. Hot cross buns. Okay. And what we started with was a sweet pizza dough. It's like a okay. yeast dough. Mm -hmm. They're warm still. And then we filled it with raspberry jam. Okay. okay. And then we mm -hmm. topped it with a little cross of the of the frosting here. So mm -hmm. you're going to get a little sweetness and a little yeast dough, and it's a perfect little treat for Easter. And perfect hot cross buns. Yeah, I love right. them. Yeah, exactly. Some people describe in. me mm. as round and sweet. So. Oh. Mm. Mm. Well, you're a little taller. Then you are round. Mm. Delicious. I watch you guys. Me. The, the looks on your face when you're eating something you love, that's what keeps me on QVC. Yeah, happy and then I want the subway. We saw we see happy over dancing. Here. He's giving yeah. you a happy, right. happy dance. Okay. Woo. How about that? Happy dance. I, like I don't happy twirl. I happy twerk. Dancing oh. with the stars. Oh. Right oh. Happy twerk. That is true. It is mm -hmm. And you know, last look of the Today Special Value in the big show coming up at 10 o'clock. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Amazing. That is. We come on here every year. The man some coffee. She's sold out every year. That actually was translated to one color is pretty much already gone mm. and another is about to go, right? Hey, mm -hmm. I'm going to let you guys know that you can find this recipe by searching David's recipes on QVC.com. You all wrap up with what you're talking about. I'm going to get ready for temptations. Okay, okay, cool. So, Scott Brothers coming up two hours starting at 10 o'clock, and then Harry Slatkin is in the house with a brand new Ooh. Today's Special Value. Do you think you'll notice if I steal some more of these? Not at all. Here, all right, let's go. Go yeah. for it. I'll take a few of these. Sheets. Renegades! <laughs> Renegades! Like I said, they'll let anyone in the building. Anyone. David? They made off with the goods. <laughs> yeah, they did. Hey, let's talk to you about temptations. We promised temptations. We saved it for last, but you're going to be happy we did. What do we think about when the summertime approaches? We think about summer fruit pies, or at least I do. I love summer strawberry pie and peach pie and apple pie and blueberry pie and all the things that we love, raspberries. How about having a pie plate for a large pie? But individual pies, but remember, this is temptations. This is stoneware. This can be used cold or hot in the oven, out of the oven. Do dips in here, bake in here, serve in here. This is temptations. Tara Tesher is back with us. Hi, friend. Hello. Mwah. Good to see you. I was Hello. on the YouTube last yeah, night. Yeah, on the YouTube. And? And I found an old video of you doing mm. temptations. Yes. And I thought, there's my girl. <laughs> Different hairstyle.
<laughs> yeah, a little bit. That was my girl. A little bit. Tara is the president of the company. She's the chief designer. She is the uh, executress in chief. Wow. That's what, an what introduction. you are. But you're also someone who came by this pretty honestly. You were talking yeah. to it by your mom. Yep. And you all really, uh, this came out of a problem solution. Absolutely. So Temptations truly was about not having to prep, cook, serve, and store in all of those dishes that we have all around our house. It's beautiful hand painted stoneware. In this case, it's completely <laughs> sculptural, completely figural, and it's something that you've been asking for. Covered pie dishes, we've maybe done one other in our entire collection. We've been here at QVC for over 17 years. We've shared over 18.8 .8 million sets with all of you, but never have we done anything as special as this. A nine inch covered pie. You have that beautiful color on the inside, that overall color saturation, that weave design on the outside, layer upon layer, not only of detail, but also hand painting. And this is our strawberry. The strawberry has the green, the pops of the strawberries. You can actually see the seeds inside here. There's your large pie, or it's a choice of David, as you know, four of what we call our smaller pies or mini pies that are actually six and a half inches. Now, both are on easy pay. If you go with the set of four, it's $44. If you go with the larger one, it's 33, is that correct? Or that do is, I have that right? Nope, right. you have it right. Okay, so 33 for the large guy, 44 for the small, for the four minis. I hesitate to call those minis. That's what I just said. They're exactly. Super Six and big. a half inch, they're, they're a nice. I was gulping water, I may not no, have No, 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 no. I just mean I agree with you 100%. No, no, I totally get it. So, strawberry. So, strawberry, mm -hmm. summer strawberry. Yes. My grandma used to make strawberry rhubarb pie. The best. Mm. The best. Loved it. And she grew all her own rhubarb and strawberries. Of course too. she did. Hello, Here yellow. It is in hello, yellow. Uh -huh. lemon. lemon. I got to tell you, the lemon is cheerful, it's beautiful, it's bright. You have pops of pink in here, the green. Of course, you can even see the rind. And that's what I love about stoneware, all the detail that you can get in these pieces and then all individually hand painted. Now, if you want mixed berries. Is this your fave? I do like this yes. one and I'll tell you why. Because it looks patriotic. Yes, to me. Americana. It's got red, white, and blue all over mm -hmm. it, and I'm in love with anything Americana. Mm -hmm. So this is your set of four minis, 350 here. The, the larger pie dish with the lid, 350 there. Got it. That's and these are left. our seasonal pieces. So we actually, you have not seen figural fruit in over two years, um, but we only bring them out this time of year. Then down in front, is those get any better than apple pie? And you know what's great about apple pie? Apple crisp, apple buckles. Yes. Uh, apple brown Betty's. I knew you were going to say that. All those, I right? I did. So I want you to think about this for summer, but I also want you to think about this for fall. Absolutely. These pieces transist all year round because they're cold, cold, as you mentioned, and hot, hot. Now, Tara, you know, because I've had you over to eat many times in the summertime, when mm -hmm. peaches come in season, I make my cobbler. Yes, you do. I do peach cobbler every summer, and I make it a lot when the, pe when the fresh peaches are in season. So do cobblers, do pies, do um, all kinds of beautiful fruit salads in here. Remember, you can make this cold and keep it cold. Absolutely. You can also serve it hot and bubbling right out of the oven. Yep, absolutely. And I love all of the detail, whether it's the beading that you see running around the edges, whether it's the five to six different individually hand painted colors that we've incorporated to truly bring these pieces to life. Those of you who have been collecting this absolutely love how lifelike they are, but that you don't have to baby them, David, because they're stoneware, as you mentioned. So you can do things like pasta bakes and nachos, seven layer dips, things that maybe you wouldn't do. In a traditional pie dish, but now you can do it in here. And what I thank you. What I love about this is the way I designed it. That ruffled edge actually creates a helper handle that runs all the way around. So look how beautiful this is. We actually did a lemon and caper um, pasta where it's bubbling. This is almost two quart capacity, which is a typical nine inch deep dish pie dish. But then we were able to do green salads because it's going to keep cold things cold. We were able to break. Uh, bake breads because again naturally non-stick so no butters no oils no extra added fat so I encourage you to think outside of the box when you're picking up these pieces whether you're doing an entree and some sides or as David mentioned a beautiful peach crisp look down in front all of Ooh. our desserts look all individual so mm. everybody has their own portion whether it's um, French onion soup or you've made a beautiful cobbler in here and then of course look what we did here a beautiful peach pie. Now that's just now art. that you that you should take home. That's art, <laughs> is what that is. Oh, send me home with that, uh -huh. a quart of milk yes. and a spoon, and leave me alone for about thirty minutes. Somehow I knew that about yeah, you. Yeah, I'm gonna wreck it. Yes, uh, yes this yes. is K. Oh, it looks delicious. This is K four nine five seven three. Is there anything nicer than that snap of a ripe peach come August? No. Oh.
and this is kind of what we're used to using, right? Whether it's metal, whether it's glass, it's great to cook in, but are you really gonna bring this out on your table? What I love about Cooking in Temptations is that naturally nonstick, you never have to worry about truly um, the heat hugging your food. It's not gonna buckle in the oven, and it's just so beautiful when you put it out on your table. So we have strawberry, we have peach, we have apple, we have lemon, most limited in mixed berry. Very nice. In the set of four or the pie so plate. Cute. Now you don't get both. You order these in, uh, you order them separately. You either order the large pie plate or the four minis, but you can certainly order them together. But they are two separate purchases. Yes. So thirty-three dollars for the big guy, forty-four for the four set of four. So as we wrap up here, I understand you will be with me Easter Sunday. I will. Two items. I will Something be here brand as well. new. And um, I have a brand new apron shirt combo just for Easter. Awesome. I think you're going to be pretty excited about it because it's like big time Easter. I'm excited about your shirt. Oh, thank oh, you. This is Peace Love World. I know. Yeah, I, already, I already Googled it. Okay. I did because right. I'm, I'm obsessed. Stay over here. Oh, okay. Well, you don't have to Google. You can go on QVC.com. That's just what I meant. That's what you meant? That's my Google. All right. So <laughs> this Sunday, Easter, Miss Stacy will be with her family. Yes. So she will not be here, but our friend Ali Carr will be here oh, with us fun. on Sunday. So she uh, does Stacy's job on my Friday show. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's going to fill in for Stacy this Sunday. Great. So we're looking forward to that. Three big hours together on Easter Sunday. I know it's a big day with family, but if you got time after you get home from church and you got lunch out of the way and you want to tune in, we'd love to have you join us. We're a happy bunch. Come on in. They're bound to be bunny ears. And um, I'm wearing a new shirt apron combo on Sunday. I like it. Not this one. Yummy. I don't think you've seen this. No. Oh. But I will show you in the host lounge. Can you give me a preview? Um, yes. I, you, you can see it. What are we going to be eating? Um, everything. Oh, good. Oh, I'm sorry. Rest, I'm making my breakfast uh, pizza on see Sunday. See how I just I served that, you on that a, way. on You could that way. <laughs> hey, I understand the Scott brothers are in the house. Oh. Mm -hmm. Usually we see them on that show on television, but no, they're on our air tonight, and they're here with today's special value. In fact, I think they're standing by. Should we, should we check in with them? Yeah. You will never believe what just got delivered. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bam, straight out of the